Good morning. How's it going? Sword. Hello. Now, I hope this isn't an indication of how things are going to go today, but my game crashed three times while I was trying to load it up. So, can't wait to see how the rest of today goes. Ah, oh, late gamer. Hello. How are you doing? Gonna get a new PC pretty soon. Hey, nice. Yeah, I need to uh need to get a new PC at some point. Alright, what are we looking at? Oh nothing. Oh, are we just fighting these two? Whoever they are. Three? Oh, I didn't realize it was three. How the fuck is this fair? Oh, this is so fucked. Wait, if I just hit one of them... Okay, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Insane. Holy fuck. Wait, what's going on with your controller? It's got drift already. You have a laptop with an Intel Core i7 and graphics cards, GTX 970, NVIDIA and Intel graphics card 530 from 2017. Oh. And what are you going to be getting? What are you, uh, what are you upgrading to? Huh? 
Well, that did nothing. For now, I just need to blow some compressed air. Who knows how long that will last? Hmm. That's how we're gonna have to do it, I think. No! Ah, uh, I managed to get one of them, and I managed to get the other one pretty low. Ah, uh, that's annoying. You look at an Asus ROG gaming desktop. i7 12700F, 16 gig of memory, RTX 3060, one terabyte hard drive, 512 SSD. That's pretty nice. 1200? Damn, that's pretty good. Like, my PC is much worse than that, and it cost me like 3k. And then there's a CyberPower. Gamer Master Gamer Desktop AMD Ryzen 5 See, I'd, here's, here's the thing. I don't know anything about AMD, and I don't know anything about Ryzen. So I have no idea, like, how comparable that is. You know what I mean? Well, 
I trust you will support me, Dog. Understood. <laughs> Oh, why was I pressing that? Oh, why was I pressing Y there to block that guy's critical hit? Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, they've stopped doing critical hits. No! No! Oh, I thought he got... I thought he lost his energy. Oh, I didn't realise he was doing a critical. Ah, oh, that was so unlucky. Uh... Uh... Yeah, the Ryzen CPUs are generally supposed to be pretty good. Um, I just don't know how co uh, comparable they are to, like... Intel. Like, Intel is the one I know, and NVIDIA graphics cards are the ones I know, so I try to, like, compare them. Like, is, a, is an AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT, like, what is that comparable to? Is that 
a 4090? Is that a, a 3060? Is that a 2080 Ti? Like, that, that's how I kind of look at it, because I, I am, honestly have no idea. I can only play 1200 to save myself the stress and time of building one. Like, you can eventually upgrade the GPU when you start costing more than a Bugatti. This is why I'm looking on the cheaper side. Really good spec. I buy power, tracer room, uh, Intel i7, 3200 memory, 3070, SSD, 1500. Wait, that's... So that's 300 more. And you're getting a, you would get a 500, an extra 500 gig SSD, but you wouldn't get the one terabyte hard drive. And it's going from a 3060 to a 3070 an extra 300 yeah i don't the difference between a 3060 and a 3070 i feel like is not big enough to be like yeah i'll pay an extra 300 dollars for that yeah that that one's not hmm. i wouldn't really want an m AMD GPU unless they give me, uh, give them graphics filters support like IT RTX cards. Um, what do you mean by graphics filters? You mean like the, I mean, I assume you're talking about like the RTX thing and ray tracing and shit like that. Doing so well. I still had three heals left. Uh. Are you sure NVMe SSDs are the industry standard? Probably. Oh, GeForce experience. Oh, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like um in some games I turn on like um I'm not sure what it's called. Like some weird contrast options. I I, I turn I I turn my like there's like contrast settings somewhere, and I turn that from fifty percent to seventy five percent. Makes my games look a little bit. Darker, I guess. Oh, 
You will support me, you know. Understood. I was trying to use the tiger to kill the guy with the glaive. The guy with the fucking spear got me. You have the guts to challenge a servant of the Jiangdong tiger. Holy shit. No, I tried to get the. Ah, uh, I got greedy and tried to go for the uh, the special on the guy whose energy went down. Fuck. I don't really work so current. You saved twenty four hundred. Damn, that's really impressive. Nice enough. Twice now. Now you know what, just kill me. Oh, 
Oh, it's for family paying for helping them out. That's cool. There must be something I'm missing about how the combat in this game works. Like, I'm used to fighting multiple enemies or whatever, but three named enemies is insane. No! Oh my god, they're so quick with that.
No! Alright, just kill me. The tiger didn't quite do as much as I was hoping for there. I think I might need to switch back to the dragon. That that tiger actually kind of sucks. I'd love to know how I didn't take any damage from that, but I didn't deflect the crit. Bombs aren't exactly helping, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come again. Oh, yes. Whew. Even working together, we servants of the Swen family lacked the might to best you. God, that, General Swen and young that was actually tough. High regard. Yeah, I just needed to, uh, I just needed to get better at deflecting, and then, um, yeah, just, just get better at deflecting, bait out the critical attacks, parry them. Well, that's a nice looking glaive. I actually really like that. I like that spear too. That's a pretty nice looking spear. Ooh, the swords aren't too bad either. Ooh, they actually scale off earth. Or is it water? No, they just looks like they scale off water. You could only make it to the first, oh, the first demo area from your laptop giving you issues. Well, oh, that sucks. Ice enchant, copper, obtention, obtention rather. Deflect spirit consumption. You know what? I might give those jewel swords a try. I could use some more sleep. Maybe I'm overworking. I think I have enough to upgrade. Oh, I do have enough to upgrade it to a plus six. A water scaling B The other scaling It's not bad. Three sixty one compared to the staff that I was using. Which is where now? There. Three eighty five. That's not too much of a difference. Oh, that is a long wind-up. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, a dash to the side and then a double slice. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then I got a long-range weapon as well. Tiger Savant. Oh, this actually gives me a set bonus if I use the hook blades. Stealth, Natal Strike, Dual Saber Spirit Damage. Oh, this might actually not be terrible. Let's see if I've got the full set. Ah, it does look like I have the full set. Well, not the full set, but. Oh no, I do have the full set. Sweet. And I get the full set bonus from it. And the set bonus is 21 stealth, fatal strike damage, dual saber spirit damage, 8.5%. That's pretty good. 
spirit fervor upon fatal strike increases spirit gain from attacking okay that's pretty good all right i like that in fact i like it so much i'm gonna upgrade it How much money did I just go down to? Wait, hold up. Where's my money? Where, where's... My stomach's growling. Oh my, my god. I, I, oh, I just spent like 150k on that. <laughs> on those upgrades. Okay, Tyrant's final banquet. Let's go. <sighs> Can't wait to fight Lubu again. Okay, this was just me walking through the forest, wasn't it? Alright, old man, what do you got for I me? I came here with Hong Jing as we continued our search for Elixir. I don't know what her plan was, but she has entered the fort alone. I would like you to sneak in, find her, and bring her back. The gate is heavily Sneaking. guarded, but luckily there's another way. Using genuine qi, you can make ivy grow rapidly, and thus you'll have yourself a ladder. <laughs> I shall secure another route, so please, do all you can to find Hong Jing. The gate is heavily using... I shall secure... So I can make... plants grow? How did that attack work? It didn't seem to do anything. He is so quick. Okay, this... 
weapon isn't killing any. Yeah, that moves. What the fuck does that do? I I have no idea what that move does. I mean, it's, it, it seems to do something, but... Jump up while launching an enemy, then knock them back to earth with a downward swing. Additional effect at high spirit enhances damage and prevents staggering from incoming attacks. No, that it's... it's see, it's not that. seem to be doing something, so I'm okay about that. Wah! I seem to jump upside down and then... Uh, like slash while I'm upside down. I don't know. It's a weird one. It's not not quite not quite what I'm used to. I guess that ladder is supposed to be used to sneak up on those guys. I have no idea if it's correct to uh, jump off the roof right there. Ah. way back up.
Ooh, okay. Oh, no, hello. How are you doing? going on in this area. Like some door I can open or... I feel like there's a flag in this area. There has to be. say that, but it doesn't look like there is. Oh, actually, there's one right there. Hmm. We're gonna go up there. Oh, probably from up top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was an NPC invasion. can't make this jump. I can. Would have put me in a really bad spot, to be honest. Is 
see, I didn't even know until today that it's possible to parry the walls. So that's a fun little thing to know now. Avenged some people. <laughs> this guy with the crossbow up here has just been hanging out. He's he's contributed absolutely nothing. How did he not see me? see any other flag holes. Although I missed some really obvious ones before. Caves. Yep. Nothing ever goes wrong in caves. There's never anything on the walls or on the ceilings. Holy shit! What the hell? this weapon have? Is it ice? Yeah, okay, so it does ice attacks. Ooh, I 
rank seven leather. Okay, so that opens from the other side. Can't tell which of these is the way to go. This one looks like it's doubling back on myself. So. Does she know what this might be the way to go? This this is seeming pretty way to go y. You know what? These weapons are actually super cool. Welcome back. Still can't believe I was waiting for 28 so I could be like two years flying 251 dance like a dumbass. Still can't believe I was waiting for 28 so I could be like two years like a dumbass. Yeah. It's okay, Cookie. It's okay. All that matters, uh, all, all that means rather, is that I have failed as a streamer. Because it means that I didn't adequately thank you for two years worth of subs to the point where you didn't realize you'd already been uh, subbed for two years. So I'm sorry that I'm a bad streamer.
But thank you for, uh... Thank you for 28 months of, uh, of subbing, Cookie. I appreciate it. As probably the longest person that's been following me that still shows up to my streams, I really appreciate it. Do you think that the morale, rank, and fortitude mechanics contribute to the game, or are they more of a nuisance? Honestly, the morale and fortitude mechanics of the game, I don't even know they're there. They mean absolutely nothing to me. Like, if I have a morale rank of, like, three, and I see an enemy that has a morale rank of, like, 18 or something, I don't care. I'm still fighting that thing. Yeah. For me, the morale rank does absolutely nothing. And as far as I know, the way Fortitude works, this this might be wrong because the mechanic uh, the mechanic isn't um, not that it's not explained particularly well, but. I think I'm possibly just being dumb. But as I understand it, the fortitude rank is the is that one that's in the the top right hand corner, right above the uh, the battle flags symbol. As I understand it correctly, the fortitude just means that your morale can't drop below that, right? Which, which doesn't mean anything to me, because my morale doesn't really go down very much, ever. What I do wish is that there was a bit more weapon variety, to be honest. A lot of the weapons all feel the same. Like, you don't need spears, halberds, and glaives. why I couldn't sneak attack that guy. What was that? Alright, back up top. Let's see what we're working with over here. Porcupine and one double sword guy by the looks of it. So personally, as one of the longest streams I've enjoyed watching and hanging out in, I should be the one thanking you guys for still being around and still being a great place to hang out. Oh, you. Oh, you. Your 
morale determines what spells you can use, but the spells in this game feel very weak. I don't think I've ever used magic seriously in a fight. The only time I've used magic is when I've invaded somebody and they were glitching about all over the place and the only way I could hit them was casting a lightning bolt on them. It's the only time I've used magic in a fight. It just doesn't even occur to me that that's a thing that I can and quote unquote should be doing. Because I just, I don't bother. The magic is so underwhelming there's just no point to it i'm sure some of the later spells are good but yeah it's it's just not worth it to use magic i would rather use my spirit to get a big fatal strike attack or a magic attack with the y button than use my spirit on magic. preferred Neo's soul cores since they felt like they did more and just looked like they packed more of a punch. I also really like Neo uh, Neo's soul core system. That feels more like a backhanded compliment. You're so boring it helps me sleep. I think I've said exactly the same thing. I'm pretty sure that has come up before where Cookie has said, oh yeah, your your voice helps me get to sleep. And I, I always kind of saw that as, oh, that's that's good. My my voice is so boring and monotone that you can just go to sleep listening to me. Okay. Thanks. But no, I I am assured that it is uh it is not meant Weapons are so good. Hey, no excuse, just pudding. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, you can have a. You know what? Have an elixir. Turn it. Turn. Turn into a big demon panda. Come on. I was about to say, that doesn't seem like a particularly good item that you just dropped. Okay, so that takes me back to the battle flag, so that's good. I feel like I'm slightly lacking 
marker flags. Wait, is there a boss over there? There's a boss over there. Oh, hey, I got my elixir back. Oh, there's another item up there I missed. Some skin. Oh, okay, it looks like we're not quite going to the boss just yet. I do like the movement in this game, I will say. I do like the... Um, like the double jumping and the climbing up on things and I like the verticality of the levels. That stuff's pretty cool. Hmm. Uh, I don't trust it. I don't think Neo was necessarily missing it, but it is the kind of thing where it's just like, now that I've played this game that has it, I'm gonna miss it being a thing when I inevitably go back to Neo after this game. Bosses get harder or easier? Um, oh, I don't really know how to answer that question. Like, this is going to sound really bad and it's going to sound really arrogant, but I don't really feel like I've... struggled too much really with any of the bosses there was one boss that I struggled with but not like struggled in a bad way like oh this boss is bullshit or whatever just struggled in a this boss is super cool and is my favourite fight of the game um please let me just <laughs> fight this guy every time because it was it was actually pretty good and that was around the midpoint every other boss kind of feels like kind of average I guess there were some like cool bosses but nothing like too difficult nothing that I was just like super struggling on Um, there are a couple of side missions that have you fighting multiple, like, named enemies. Um, like, the first thing I did today was a fight where I was fighting three named enemies in an arena at the same time. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty difficult, but it was actually super cool, because it was just kind of, like, all about timing and, um, and that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, nothing, nothing like super difficult or anything. Nothing like the bed of chaos. Everybody s talks about the bed of chaos being a really shit boss. I actually thought bed of chaos was a cool boss. I'm going to be one of those people. That's my hot take of the day. 
bit of chaos, not as bad as everybody says. What kind of haircut should you get? I don't know, just shave it all off. We get being a god gamer isn't the easiest task in the world. Yeah, that's me. Okay, I mean, I'm at full health. My dragon pots are still at seven. I can raise this battle flag, but let's wait until I'm a little bit worse off, shall we? It's definitely facing that way, isn't it? Oh, you... I'm using the hook blades of King Elu at the moment, and I just got some more. Falling Leaf and Waving Willow. Falling Leaf and Beckoning Pine. These one aren't, uh, ones aren't Ice Enchanted. Divine Beast Gauge gain, positive effect duration, and Element Imbued Weapon Spirit Damage. You know what? That actually sounds like a good skill to put on my current weapon because it's an element imbued ice attack. I could get rid of the copper obtention because who the fuck cares about that? Millennia is easy. I mean, yeah, for some people. I, I obviously had some issues with her, but uh, I've seen some people be her at level one, so... Wait, you think... you guys think the Bed of Chaos is that bad?
I could have sworn there was going to be a flag over here. God damn it. Okay, I can't do anything with that guy, but at least now I know he's there. Beast wasn't that bad. Yeah, true. Elden Beast wasn't that bad either. It can instant instantly shove you into a bottomless pit. I mean, yeah, but you don't take any other damage from it. So it's the kind of boss where you just kind of... Like, if you fall into a pit, at least you know where the pit's going to spawn. Like, sure, it's... It's not the best boss ever. It would probably be somewhere, like, near the bottom in terms of bosses I like, but... The one that oh this is the one that improves it so it's not the one that gives me more there is no universe where it's anything less than mega shit <laughs> Now that's, that's a bit, a, a, maybe a step too far. Mega shit is too far. People would dislike Better Chaos less if it was in the Dark Souls remake. I think DS1 being an older game contributed to the problems people had with the boss. Yeah, I mean... There's definitely an argument to be made where there's like a limitation of like the controls or whatever, right? The game doesn't play particularly well. So an argument could be made that if the game was made using, like, the Dark Souls 3 engine or something, then the boss might be a little bit more manageable. You know, if the game was a little bit faster. It's a very slow-paced game. mistake here. Should I not have dropped down to kill that warlock? Okay, well, we're gonna have to fight this guy straight up. Okay. 
came out of the air. Okay, so that's where we're going. And we drop down from over there. Is that where we're going? Is that where I came from or is that where we're going? I think that's where we're going. No, because I dropped down from it. And I'm kind of lost. Oh, wait, this leads me back to the beginning. Ish. Oh, okay. Somewhat know where I am now. Yeah, because that was the first marker flag that I got. This one doesn't have omnidirectional rolling. It would barely be passable. It's just not good design, and that's not getting solved even by Unreal Engine Giga EX. So, what is it about the design of the boss that you're not a fan of? This is where I came from. I came from here. And I went down here and I dropped down onto this guy. And then we went over here and then we killed the sword guy. Okay. All right, now I know where I am. We came we came from over there. I still feel like I'm missing too many flags. I also get the feeling I'm gonna hate this room. What the hell is that? version, <laughs> normal enemy version of the second boss. it just get hit by every attack sure
Ja. And there it is. All right. Let's just grab this. It's the boar from the demo. Yeah, it's like the second boss in the game. Although they have made bosses of uh, normal enemies of the the monkey boss that you fight, like the first boss that you fight. Except they're like smaller versions, I guess. Are you saying you enjoy being shoved around by giant wooden tentacles into big gaping holes? Well, you have to dodge them and hit point A and B, then point C on the boss, and oh, you're done? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. Like, not every boss in a Dark Souls game is going to be... Artorious. Right? shot it skill issue Sorry, I'll get back to reading chat now. Oh shit, I just realized that the three points thing is gone. I'm late to noticing that, am I? Um, Not that long, actually. Like a week, maybe? I mean, there's nothing to throw at, uh, to throw at, so... I decided it just wasn't worth it to have the points there for that. That will probably change at some point. I'm sure I'll go back to, uh, I'll go back to being cool. Please tell me there's a flag up here. There has to be a flag up here. Okay, so we've got an item on the roof over there. That leads around to there. We got a bit down there. Yeah, it hasn't uh it hasn't been too long since I stopped using it. Not even comparing to Artorias, at least be on the Taurus demons level. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. 
right? And this might this might trigger some people. But I will say this. I would I would say that Bed of Chaos is a better boss than Ceaseless Discharge. I actually think Ceaseless Discharge is a worse boss than Bed of Chaos. There you go, I said it. You remember the, like, cave area after Quilag? Oh, there's a giant, like, fire demon in a lava pit that you have to fight there. What about Dragon God? Well, Dragon God and Ceaseless Discharge are basically the same boss, so... But yeah, Dragon God also sucks as a boss. Just fucking awful. We got all the flags. Let's go. stars, no four stars. Four star assassin braces, but that doesn't really help me. Three star head. Alright, we should actually probably spend some of these souls now that I've got all the flags. The only reason I wasn't resting at any of these flags was because if I make it to the end of the level without resting at any of them, all of the enemies stay dead and it means that I can just explore and nothing. Oh, Sylvia, hello. How are you doing? Alright, what do I need for these swords? Water. Yeah, we're just going to pump all of my points into water now. Forty-seven, so I need three K. For another level. There we go. Hmm. I can't actually buy any more wizard spells. 
always good. Are you? Mad, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You've messed up my entertainment. In that case, I shall just have to improvise with your dying screams. His voice doesn't match his body. Well, this could certainly be going better. His attacks are so weird. See what I mean? What the fuck was that? Oh, fuck you. Always good at Valorant, you mean? Yep, that's exactly I've heard some people say the Chinese and Japanese have better voices for these characters from what I heard. Yeah, probably. Uh, maybe I should switch the dialogue volume. I'm not really... I'm not exactly paying attention to the story. I have no idea what the fuck's going on, so... <laughs> And he recovers spirit super quick. Mainly because he's hitting me with everything.
No, okay, I'm probably gonna die. Whoa, I didn't realize there was gonna be more of that. Oh, you fuck. Why didn't I dodge? Was there something blocking me on the right there? I'm never surrendering after seeing Fnatic come back from 2.11. I know, right? Wait, was it 2.11? Wasn't it 9.3 after the first half? I think they were down 11... I think they were down 11.3. I thought, I thought it was a 9.3... Oh, I see. So it was... Wait, what? They lost pistol after 9-3. Wait, what? Yeah, but Sylvia is saying 11 2. There's Fnatic and then there's Platinum ranked games. Hey, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with being plat, alright? Shut up. I'm plat too. Everyone here is plat, except for Sylvia, who's like Ascendant 3 or something. Yeah, what a game. Like, the entire series was really good. Like, the fact that it went, the Fnatic went 2 0 up and then lost the next two games and then were down 11 3 and came back to win, what was it, 14 12? Insane. That Icebox game. Holy shit. I'm, I, it's definitely changed my opinion of Icebox, to be honest. Interesting, that's a multi-hitting move.
Yeah, got him. Please don't tell me there's a second phase. I swear to God, if you eat an elixir, you're dead to me. It has played on my mind ever since I saw you at Hulaguan Pass. But how could I forget how bravely you always held yourself? So, brother, why? Why do you stand with Dong Zhuo? You mistake me for another. Uh, huh? Lugu, uh, an assassin. Your tongue was perfect timing. You shall make a fine soldier. How dare you? You would betray me. That had to be a very precise stab, otherwise, it would have gone straight through him. The elixir is yours. It would have gone straight through him, and it would have hit Hong Jing. Go before things get out of hand. Brother! Don't worry about me. Zhong Liao, take her away. Time to leave. Please, wait! <sighs> What will he do with the elixir? I simply follow General Lu's orders. Please, this way. <laughs> yeah, we already had a fight against Lu Bu. It's probably my favorite fight of the game so far. <sighs> Thank you. You saved me yet again. God, the voices really do sure. sound kind of off in this game. But at last I'm convinced. He was the person I always wanted to be like. Like the voice acting in the Neo games is actually pretty to. good. And then he left without a farewell. I need to know why he set his sights on the elixir. Otherwise, I'll never be able to get things back to normal. Yeah, people have been telling me for ages that <laughs> Lubu is a badass. Face up to the demonic team. And they definitely introduced him as such in this game. It may take force to get the truth out of him. But there's no one he would tell other than me. Didn't have English dialogue for Neo 2. Uh, actually, I don't think I did either. I can't remember. I might have done. It wasn't terrible. When it comes to being stubborn, even my brother cannot best me. To think he survived, I, I hope the day will come when we can train together once more. Train J J J C S J. All right, swore an oath with Hong Jing. Yeah, the only Dynasty Warriors game I ever played was Strike Force. And I had a friend who mocked me. Constantly. Because apparently that game's terrible. Wait, apparently CS got, uh, Counter Strike 2 is a thing. Uh -huh. What the 
hell what is going on? Has my game crashed? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what is going on? I think the game is trying to load and play the cutscene at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think it crashed. Uh, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, it crashed. <sighs> so annoying. <sighs> Why is this game like this? Emotional damage! Yes. Such emotion. I don't even know if... I don't even know if this game runs... better on console. I actually have no idea. I've only seen the, uh... And so, yet another star falls over May See, Wing I have no idea if this is the cutscene that Dong didn't play. Lu Bu took the elixir and turned his back to the fort. The elixir was now in the hands of the strongest warrior in the entire land. Cao Cao, fearing what Lu Bu might be capable of, deployed his forces to bring him down. Yeah, I have no However, idea if this game plays better on console. To his adversary and found himself on the back foot as Lu Bu's forces struck back. Make way! Make way for Lubu. We must retake Puyang. You're fighting well, but stay sharp. You are young. You live up to your name, Lu Bu. Is this all the great South Cao can muster? <sighs> you and Ron, hold back for now. Too late. <clears throat> PS5 it had issues where on clouds you would get a corrupted save. Oh. That sounds fun. Who's this guy? I am Jun Yu, General Cao's advisor. Initially, Colonel Shaho was tasked with defending Puyang City. However, it was assaulted by Lu Bu while he was away, 
and it was taken. When you head to the local fish and chip shop menu for your character's names, how dare you? How dare you? Oh my god. Holy shit, look how many side quests there are now. Fate of the Entertainment. We're going to leave Lubu behind for now. I had fish and chips yesterday. It was really good. Oh, for fuck's sake. They deliver fish and chips? I mean, you can get it delivered, but we have one right across the street from us. It's literally a 20 second walk. Maybe not even that. And, uh, yeah, my brother went and got some. At least no protocol crashed like 10 plus times for me on my Series X, so it depends on the dev. Ah, I see. Hey, Tiger, hello. How you doing? You've been lurking for an over an hour? Ugh. Uh, yeah, it's looking like, uh, my brother is moving in. We must hurry and find them. Like, properly. He's going to be here for the foreseeable future. Which is funny, because that's something that I asked him if he... Uh, I was going to ask him if he wants to do or would be willing to do. And... Uh, It kind of saved me having an awkward conversation with him where I had to ask him. Never seen that attack before. I thought I killed it. No, I just inflicted it with ice. What me leaving the house? No, absolutely not. How long have you been following? Uh, you can click your name and it should say, uh, according to this, you've been following since the 2nd of April, 2020. Time for some good old Monopoly and split screen Halo. <laughs> Not likely. Me, me and my brother aren't really that close, to be honest. I'm not really that close with anyone. We, we, we don't really interact very much. Oh, 
that's new. Yep, nearly three years. It's funny because uh, Cookie was here earlier and Cookie has been following the stream for, well, Cookie's doesn't really work because he must have done that thing where he unfollowed and refollowed due to you know because he thought he was being funny due to like a hot take that I had which is a thing that some people did a little while ago and I say that because I know for a fact the cookie has been following the stream since the 20... I think it was the 22nd of October 2018. But now cookies um, follow has been... About a year. Uh, August, I think. Since August. So, yeah. Must have been something I said. But yeah, he's been... Probably my longest follow of people that still show up to the stream. Like, he'd been following longer than Aquila. And I've known Aquila almost 10 years. It's my birthday in five months. That's true, it is my birthday in five minutes. We broke the enemy's formation. Let's keep this I followed up. you because you were the only person playing Atelier Riser. You played it for one more stream after I followed, and then <laughs> you then quit playing that game. We might be yeah. That was probably a thing to have, for sure. Trash pad. You gave me a birthday follow? Hey, trash panda, eat eat the thing. I want to become strong like you and my brother.
Okay, is this the only way to go? I believe it is. But yes, there was an Atelier Riser stream at some point. I played that game for three days and uh, decided to stop. I may go back to it at some point. Although I doubt it. There's like three of those games now. I don't know if I could uh, play all three. I remember watching your stream when you played Dark Souls and said I get why people hate this game. I get, uh, it ain't that bad. Oh, Dark Souls 2. Um, yeah, I don't know. I personally don't like it very much, but it's not the worst game ever made. the dragon pot, don't mind if I do. Yeah, get avenged. Okay, one more big flag, one more little flag. Okay, there's an item over there. Okay, that's a little flag. Ah, oh, this weapon is so cool. Okay, so the big flag is underground. Started following last P5S stream. You said that exact line, I may go back to Razor at some point, that's why I'm still following. <laughs> wow. What's after this? Um, what's after this is I'm going to be playing... Neo again because I really like Neo. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to play Neo, Neo 2, and then. I'm going to be playing um, Pathfinder. I'm going to be doing Pathfinder, Kingmaker, and Wrath of the Righteous, and in between those games, I'm going to be playing some new releases as they come out. Uh, 
Uh, we went through a list yesterday of, uh, of new releases that are coming out. I think there's only about five or six games coming out in the next six months that I'm going to be checking out. So plenty of time to play lots of Pathfinder because that game is super long. I still follow you because of the supporting your streams thing. Oh, that's nice. Problem with me with catching your streams is the timing. It's 1.39 a.m. here in NZ, so plus I've been sleeping a lot. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's fine. Like, I, I understand, obviously, with, like, time zones and everything, it's a little bit of a, an issue. Like, don't ever feel like... Don't ever feel like you have to be here. You know? Like, there's, there's no expectation or anything. I don't, uh, I don't have any, any sort of expectation of people, like, it's all good. Uh, you should finish Horizon Forbidden West? No, I should not. Uh, yeah, Star Wars, Resident Evil 4, Mega Man, Battle Network, um, Collection, Baldur's Gate 3, and Legend of Heroes Trails into Reverie. You enjoyed Pathfinder Kingmaker, it was great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I follow you because we are besties, uwu. Alright, Sylvia, fuck off. Need an upcoming command for the games you're gonna play? I mean, maybe. But I never stick to it. <laughs> I never stick to it, so there's no point. Although this does seem like it's pretty much, not so much set in stone, but um, that that is the plan. Yes, Frost, that's true. You don't have to be. Did I see the futuristic souls lights? No, I don't know what it is you're talking about. I couldn't help you. Oh, she turned into a demon. I get it. I follow you because you're my sleep paralysis demon. I don't know what that means. There's some souls like coming out that eerily looks like it's an elix spin. All right. Okay, let's have a look at this entertainment set. Yep, that looks thoroughly entertaining. Show headpiece. Oh, it's a little crown tiara thing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think 
the spot's good as it's gonna get. Mm, I'll leave that off. Ba -da -ba. <sighs> I could use some more sleep. Maybe I'm overworking. Didn't quite salvage the thing I wanted to salvage there. All right, late gamer. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Thanks for coming. Always nice to see you. Funnily enough, talking about Elix, I tried to play that again recently. It did not go well. <laughs> game is so bad. Oh yeah, what does this uh what does this unicorn thing do? Fight alongside you for a short duration, the duration increases when rank 10 or above and it just charges the people. What's the Elix? It's a terrible game, is what it is. Okay, so that's the one that we just did. So now we've got Massacre of Mei Wu Fortress. Back to the level we just did. Again, for the third time. Wait, Sylvia's still here. Sylvia! fond of Piranha Bytes games. Uh, that explains it. Where the fuck is Sylvia gone? Sylvia! League and acknowledge me. I actually don't know if she's playing me. Got a big flag. 
Alright, what's the boss gonna be? I don't even know what that is behind me. I don't want to look. Oh, this fucking thing. Who's this guy? Being bested by a demon is a disgrace. I will know Broad backed me up. He's a fellow Euro jank in Jaya. <laughs> Probably. He does enjoy some real shit. I assume that's why he's here. Can't level up, so let's just go to the next level. Wait, are there any? No. Okay, the next one is Realm of Battle, which is on the level that everybody does PvP on. Speaking of which, maybe I should try my new swords in PvP. Although if I do that, chances are... Wait, there's another flag somewhere. Yeah, chances are I'm just going to get somebody glitchy again. Uh, okay, so I guess there must be more than one arena to fight in? Because there's only one flag, but there's supposed to be another one. What do you even fight on this level? Please, please. <laughs> 
fucking game crashed. Come on. <laughs> like the game I'm going to crash. All right, Frost. I'll see you later. Have a good night. I appreciate you being here, even though it's so late. Oh, there's the other flag. <laughs> well, that was easy. Uh, you'll be playing Neo after this? Yes. So it's going to be Neo, and Neo 2, and then Pathfinder Kingmaker, and Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Depending on new releases, because I know that uh, Resident Evil comes out in a few weeks, so... Um, it's going to very much depend on timing. Yeah, this this game isn't this this game isn't like I don't know. I feel like this game is better to play rather than watch. The story isn't particularly interesting. The characters aren't interesting in any way. Um, the combat is fine. But the gameplay is its major, like, up point for me, and it's only okay. Your heroics often remind me of a dragon. But what do you know of a true dragon? It is said that a dragon destined for the heavens first hides itself far from sight. <laughs> like, let me put it this way, I... I would much rather play Stranger of Paradise again in this game. 
Like, I'm going to be playing Neo for the third time on stream. Um, I can't see a world where this game gets a second playthrough, to be honest. A sack of shit. The flame that burns within you is almost blinding. I prefer the well crafted story experience, base building, and such. Meh. Ah, oh, guy. Totally that makes you. sense. Not many possess the it makes you want to play Ninja Gaiden. Somebody actually mentioned Ninja Gaiden a couple of days ago. I actually installed it the other day because it's on Game Pass. And I tried playing the first one. Holy shit, that game is difficult. I might have to. I might have to play that game at some point. Because there's only like five, maybe six games coming out for the rest of the year that I actually want to play. So it gives me plenty of time to uh, play some older games. Ninja Gaiden might just be on that list. Who knows? You better not be insinuating that SOP is bad in any way. Oh, no, 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 of course not. In fact, I started playing that again recently as well when the new DLC came out. I was using one of the new gun classes and I killed the first boss, like the first chaos that you fight at the beginning of the game, on the, the first level, uh, I killed him in about 10 seconds using the gun. <laughs> this must be destiny for us to reunite here. I left the service of the Golden Sun after realizing my ideals differ too greatly from his. Alright, Crashing, we'll catch you on the air streams because that game looks interesting to me. Alright. Would you lend me your courage once more? Sounds good. Have a good night. Although I will say that Neo 2 is a lot better than Neo 1, so... You know, just, just bear that in mind. Not that Neo 1 is bad or anything, but... Do you actually mean to say, guys, is that you use the new gun and the OP wind magic? <laughs> no, no, no OP wind magic this time around. I just used the gun. I don't think I, yeah, I, I wasn't far enough into the game. I pretty much only played the first level. So I was only far enough into the game. I don't think I even had access to, uh, to the OP wind magic. Can't actually remember. It was a little bit ago. You 
Let's get back. I will handle this. Whoa. The lightning attacks from that guy seemed like they were hitting from way further away than any lightning attacks I can do. Oh, it might have been because it was this guy. something to do with it. And... Donk. Oh, oh wait, wait, wasn't there an item over here? Suspect Fuck. That someone may be behind the worsening of conflict across the land. Gong Sun Zan was just one of many. I don't know who Gong Sun Zan is. And so, there is a new path I must pursue. I am grateful to you, and already await hopefully for our paths to cross once more. I barely remember who this Zhao Yun guy is. 0.1% dominated 15 sub battlefields. Wow, people really haven't been playing this game very much, have they? Oh, it's opened up a new battlefield, the Unparalleled Spear. I guess that means I have to fight Zhao Yun. Challenge you to Mortal Kombat. 
Oh, this guy actually has a lot of health. Holy shit. Shall you and I will. Glad to see I was not wrong to put my faith in you. Get down. Most efforts were inadequate. You have my total respect. Oh, sweet. The two of us are linked by the radiant Tealine, and I shall take heart from that in the coming battles. One day, though, I will rise. Total to respect. Level. I promise you. You have been bestowed the protection of the divine beast Tealine. Or Chilin. The divine beast Big Chilin. Sylvia. What was it the Sylvia said a little while ago? Always watching, always listening. Spear. I guess if I get that up to plus six, it'll probably be more damage, but it scales off fire. Yeah, I, I don't know what that says. Reduction upon martial arts. Well, I don't really. Ooh, that could be good. I think I want to get rid of this. I don't think this matters. I said, I like China, I like ice cream. My name is John. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. 
Okay, I don't want any of the martial arts stuff. Oh, wait, was that specifically... Oh, that's specifically an armor one. Ugh. Okay, I regret getting rid of that now then. I mean, I guess I could just put this on it. And then just use martial arts every now and again. Okay, I can't upgrade any of these. Oh, I can upgrade this though. Now I've run out of money. I just spent 200,000. Okay, I think we are done in part four. So now we just move on to part five. We do war. War's flames blaze fiercely. Okay, so we've got Jah Jaha Jai Hao Yuan following. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that name. Looks like the sluice is bound with thick rope. Let's get closer and have a look. The sluice. Sluice is loose. Wait, I think I can use this to summon people, right? If I go reinforcements. See, I can summon people. I didn't know I could do that. Oh, I guess it can only be a certain... It can only be certain people. Who the hell is Huang Gai? Oh, I guess they get boosts if you summon the other people as well. Shaho. Oh, it's Shaho? Oh. oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Shaho Yuan. So I guess if I summon Han Dang, I can also summon Cheng Pu and Huang Gai, and they might get a boost if I summon all of them. So let's just... See, I thought his oath level was higher, but I guess not. I can only have two companions. All right, we'll we'll rock with these two. Yes. 
here. Looks like it might even lead us to you and Jean. Crocodile. Need to get your notebook for language lessons. This was a conversation that uh, Awesome and Aquila had for a while. They were talking about learning Chinese and stuff. That was a while ago now, though. Ooh. Melee attack, spirit damage, power drop on enemy upon martial arts, flame attack, power, divine beast gameplay. Beckoning pine and blossom stream. What is blossom stream? Oh, that's kind of cool. I'd rather keep my rather keep my set bonus swords, thanks. Oh fucking great. Oh fuck a duck. Alright, time for the slowest level in the game. System Google Translate. Sure. Wait, did I say goodbye to Frost? I can't remember. See ya, Frost. This is Wo Long, I see. Yes. Wo Long. like this. Oh, 
<laughs> Why do they do this to me? Fuck you, Team Ninja and Koei Tecmo, whoever the fuck. <sighs> Why? Why? <sighs> I can't eat this. Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting that I can hold down RB and then press up or down to, uh... Like, increase the effectiveness of my allies. God, that was a thing. Appreciate it. It's it's because I hate spiders. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Shan Bandit. Okay, we got a big flag over there. I haven't seen any more little flags yet. I don't know why people keep thinking that it's a good idea to put in giant spiders as an enemy type.
Oh shit. Oh no. Oh fuck. Guess what I get to do? I get to go back through the fucking spider sewer. Just remember where they all are. There's one in this first room. There's one in the room to my left. Should just be able to leave and avoid them completely. Oh, yeah, wait, well, yeah, I don't have any arrows. Oh, I don't have any crossbows either. those bow guys. Oh, the bow guys reset. Oh, hey, we got some arrows. Um... trying to figure out whether it's worth it. Complete. 
right, we should we should be able to take this guy out. Oh yeah, look at that. Easy. I avenged Lucelli. Can we go in this way? Mm. I mean, he said to go... Well, I pr mm. I'll try and open this. Never mind. Okay, can't even go in that way. Literally just did it for a checkpoint, which I guess is fine. Seven steel, yes. Don't mind if I do. Alright, big flag over there. Can we see any little flags anywhere? I don't see any little flags anywhere. into the sewers. Ah, okay, no. Game, please. I don't want to go back into the sewers. Please don't make me. <sighs> Alright. I see, I guess I could have done that to uh, drop down on that thing. See you up there, you little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 
Three-star bamboo bow. Is that any good? I'm already using a three-star bamboo bow. Oh, it's a plus four. So, oh my god. That plus four is insane. Look how much more damage it does. I should, I should really have been upgrading my uh, ranged weapons, maybe. <laughs> Renegade of Heaven's Will. Triumphant Conquest Glaive. Plus five. Was that thunder scaling? None of the others in the Renegade of the Heavens the will. As I'm sure you've realized. Oh wait, it actually shows me the Oh. Wait, how do I see how do I see the other one? I'll switch video playback. Oh my god, it actually shows me the martial arts moves. I don't have to equip the weapon. Oh my god. Oh, sudden tornado looks cool. I wonder if there's a way in this game to switch the martial arts on your weapons. Maybe that's a thing that becomes available at some point. Okay, do I see any little flags? Oh wait, this is... This opens the shortcut back to the... Sewer entrance. guy's on the prowl. He's just not very good at it. Okay, that leads back to the sewers. Sewers. Let's cut that 
was about to say, did we beat the guy with the axe already? That's not a thing I can open. <sighs> okay, we can go down here, but I imagine that's where I have to go once I've lowered the water. Let's just grab this. Leave the trash panda alone. Here you go. Have yourself a... Ooh, what do I give you? Here you go. Have a tiger seal. Star belt hook. Really. There's a little flag. <sighs> Looks like it's in a sewer of some sort. That's not, hmm, yeah, that's not the staircase from the start, so we probably have to go across there. sure what the golden cicada shells do to be honest I haven't really looked what do golden cicada shells do where where do they even show up as an item oh there it is give these to a certain person to receive a corresponding reward <sighs> what What do they do? Hidden across the varied levels, golden cicada shells. Okay. Oh, that guy.
Okay, that can only be open from the other side, so we have to go further in. Guys, deal with that guy. I'm gonna take out this guy. So, this is just if I wanted to go back, I guess. So this is the rock formation that I was on before. See, look at this guy, right? This guy dies, and then he disappears. This thing, you fucking kill it, and it doesn't disappear. Why are the spider enemies the only enemies that don't disappear after you kill them? Fuck this game. You know what's funny? While I'm passing through all these rooms, I'm also constantly clicking in the right stick. Wait, this is definitely just a reused Neo enemy. It even has the same attack animations. Yeah, while I'm going through these sewers and everything, I, uh, I'm constantly clicking in the right stick. Just in case I target one that I can't see.
taking out a witch robe. Okay, so this leads up to this flag. Five out of seven. Nothing down there. I mean, that looks like it's the way out, so we probably don't want that just yet. Why am I not just leaving the sewer? Come on. I guess we'll have to come back for that. That's probably a dragon vein thing. Okay, well at least I'm opening up shortcuts that make it so I don't have to go back into the sewers.
level four. So we got another big flag. So I get back up there. We got some more arrows. Oh god, it's another sewer, isn't it? Dragon statue. All right, let's see if lowering that water has opened up that other path. It has. Excuse me, team, where are you? Okay. Come on, dragon pot. Ah, I knew it. Knew it was going to be a dragon pot item. I'm going to register this as a favorite so that it always gets set over here. So this increases... Wait, isn't essence supposed to be the one... So it doesn't increase my uses, it increases how good it is. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I knew it would be a dragon pot item. It was just so out of the way and the fact that you had to backtrack for it. And it made it obvious it was going to be something like that. Is there anything down here to fight? Doesn't look like it.
Come on. I can zoom in with the throwing knives as well. Going further and further back, he's making it. I'm making it harder to hit him. There we go. What? Now we'll spot. Guys, attack him. Thank you. I need to scope the room out first. Backyard key. We finally found it. Do not trust this room. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs>
Okay, there's the dragon mouth out. No, f no more flags to you. Did somebody else see me, or was it just that guy? I was about to say, there's no shortcut. Uh, oh, this is right at the start of the level. I see. And it all comes full circle. Iron Overlord. Iron Overlord is only a light armor. Gives power drop to enemy landing fatal strike, restore HP. Ooh, HP restoration from melee attacks. Maybe this Tyrant armor isn't quite so bad. Tyrant Overlord. Tyrant Overlord. Tyrant Overlord. We have a ty Tyrant Overlord set if we want it. And there's the Triumphant Conquest as well. Plus four version. That's a plus five version. Hmm. Oh, I think I didn't want to use it because it scales off fire, and I'm not really leveling into fire. That might have been it. All right, what's the boss going to be? Giant spider. Let's go. That is the flimsiest flag I've ever seen. The wretch Lu Bu managed to slip away. <laughs> flag with his tail between his legs. Huh? <laughs> Are you a Shao soldier? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he took that arrow right to the eyeball.
frame where he ran to shit while he was doing that. <laughs> Oh my god, this fight is awful. And then he just falls to the floor. <laughs> okay, I guess that's fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tofu, hello. You ain't gone. Curses. What should we do? Stand back, Niao Tai. How you doing, Tofu? When I know is not the sort of man to give up so easily. The power of friendship. Wherever our army bravely charges, We've been there to give our blades in support. It's up to us. The Am I at the end? I don't know. On the path to Probably victory. not. My arrow will pierce any who dare to raise their blade to him. He's like a brother to us. But your genuine chi is formidable. You knocked sense into me when I was in my demonic rage. So maybe you'll not be needing my bow, huh? It's no mystery why boss rates you so highly. We'd follow you into death's abyss without hesitation. We'll ensure he commands over all of the land. You just watch. That upgraded Phoenix now? Can I just get the upgraded dragon, considering that's the one I'm using? You were young. Ugh. He just had that spare? Looks like I owe you one. I mean, like, I know that's the talisman that we've been using to, like, <laughs> summon the spirits and everything. I couldn't die before seeing you but why? He just had, land. like, the functionality to turn it into an eye patch the handy? The Lubu army has been raised at Shopei City Tower. Hmm. That Lu Bu. Ever impatient to bite at his next prey. Juke, 0.3%. Sworn oath with Zhao Ha Dun and Zhao Ha Yun. Is it gonna do it? It did it! That it did the thing. From you in Shwanta's absence. It was... It was the booze! Otherwise, they would have never... 
Did I not warn you enough times? <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> what did Shahai Yuan say to his tantrum throwing long lost brother? Oh, you don't shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Do not be so ready to throw your life away. Remember the oath we took. Brother. If you were to die, I too would follow you in death. Then I, Zhang Fei, will take back Zhao Pei single handedly. No, I you won't. Fail you again. Dida, just calm down for a moment. Why is Guan Yu so red? And I too. Your mistakes are our mistakes, brother. <laughs> Brothers, let's shake the ground beneath their feet. <laughs> The voice well, acting is so bad. I am thankful to have an ally with such compassion and honor as yourself. Yes, lots of compassion. That's me. <sighs> Alright, let's find a flag. There's the flag. Since I have promised the people, I am responsible for it and cannot New battlefield is now available. Okay, so we've got. Uh, fuck. We got a submission to do in the uh, spider infested sewers. Like, what's the point in even putting spiders in this game, right? I've seen like maybe 10 spiders this entire game. Why even have them? You sparked a watch streak, milestone achieve. You watched three consecutive streams this month and sparked a watch streak. Wait, that's a thing. Uh, you see, where did I pull? Thank you. You're a light now. I can finally. <sighs> what? The chest is locked now as well. Dragon vein essence. Who the hell is this? No! Okay, my dragon pot got better. Wait, how the fuck do I get out of here? Call a hot girl born between July 23rd and August 23rd a Leo Bay. <sighs> sure. I think this is the cicada guy. The secret of him. All right. Truth is. A long time. If you bring, how about it? Hey, I've been waiting for. <laughs> you know, this numbing sensation on my tongue. <laughs> you know. Okay.
we gave this guy the stuff that he wants. Does she now need the keys to her chest? Her chest as well. The chests? Oh, right. Honestly, I they don't appear to belong to anyone, so I guess you're... You want the keys? Then how about you treat... I think I can persuade the blacksmith to... Okay. Oh, you want a fire pot? Sure. There you go. You want the key? Then I think... Anti-free soil? Perhaps sure. you'll find... You want the keys? Then I think... Mr. Kring? Sure. Here you go. The chests? Honest, they don't appear to... The chests? Oh, they don't... All right. Keys to the chests. That was easy. Ooh, large crystal, two smalls, and f oh Ooh, damn. Oh. Leathers and steels, rank eight. Some bronze jewel swords, yellow turban champion armor. Damn. You know, actually, now that you mention it, I do seem to remember seeing something on Twitter about Watcher milestones being a thing. How much does this give? 30,000! <sighs> I could use some more sleep. Maybe I'm overworking. Great. Oh, we can upgrade these now. Yes, I will upgrade these. Oh, I don't have enough rank 8 steel. It's a shame. I don't think I even bother with the hold out. Welcome. Maybe I do, actually. What kind of place sells herbal teas while you view? A wide variety of animals, a Tian Zoo. A Tian Zoo. Oh, you fuck. You're gonna reach for the emergency phone number soon. <laughs> That's probably the funniest joke I've heard all day. So we upgraded Juke. <laughs> Alright, before we keep going, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> then get myself something to eat. I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
I am back. I told my grandpa I read a really good book by a Chinese author. He said, buy it. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> Such a letdown. Uninhibited heart, let's go. I ordered some Pringles the other day. And I ordered sour cream Pringles. But they didn't have any when they got delivered. So I got delivered cheese and onion Pringles instead. They're actually not bad. been absent from military council of late, and people are starting to worry. Some claim to have seen him in Puyang City. Would you come with me to search? So wait, she's allies with this guy for some reason. Well, no, it's because you get the option to um, get substitutions that are sort of like the thing you ordered. Which I'm honestly fine with. Like, I'd rather get something similar than nothing. And if it's just snacks, like uh, like Pringles or something, then I really don't mind what flavour I get. It's not, uh, not hugely important. I'm, I'm not really that picky with... Uh, Pringles flavors, to be honest. Plus five weapons. Pretty cool. Please don't make me go back in the sewer. Please. Oh no, it's making me go back in the sewer. Libationer Guo is well known for his pleasures. <laughs> This is no more than another one of his aimless jaunts. However, with the world in its present state. I've been leaning towards snacks as my Pringles alternative. I like Pringles, but I swear 75% of the can is dust when I open it. Hmm. I don't know. I still find that there's. Enough.
Ooh, four star witch like this. Oh, and an essence. Hold up. I haven't been doing Pringles because they're as fucking expensive as a pack of cigs right now. I don't know this about you. Or were you just using it as a random example? It doesn't seem like he's allowed. Because of the more expensive brand. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's probably cheaper alternatives. level. Fuck off. I'm dead. I'm alive. Now I'm dead. How far away are those hitting from?
Yes, he has another spider right there. Too busy focusing on other things right now. I'm using a uh, yeah. I'm using dual swords. I decided to switch away from the weapons that I was using, uh, mostly because these dual swords are part of a set called the Wisdom and Courage set, which gives me bonus stats. of quality liquor. Do I have to give that to somebody? Okay, I think this is the guy we're looking for. Uh, where am I? Is that liquor? Uh, couldn't be, of course. Oh, prefection. What a happy coincidence. Let us drink together. If we don't have fun in time, this world can be too much to bear. Our taking of drink to the point of losing oneself, it's bad for your health. Although you have never been wronged by drinking, you should still take care of your health. Of course he's been wronged by drinking. He ended up in a spider sewer. You know what? I'm in the mood to invade somebody. Oh, it's a new level, the water level. Huh. 
I know, right? <laughs> Fuck this game. I will have my blood. Oh, wait, I think this is a level with two followers as well. God damn it. Wait, where's he at? I saw a weird clip yesterday of a guy playing this game and he beat a boss and then just looked really confused into the camera, Alt F forward the game and un uninstalled it. And then put two middle fingers up at the camera. Actually, actually thinking about it, maybe he didn't alt F4. Maybe the game crashed and then he uninstalled it because it kept crashing. I don't know. I didn't watch the guy's playthrough. I don't know how often he crashed. But the game crashing.
seriously? clearly heard me complaining that what's the point of putting spiders into the game if you're only going to have like 10 spiders so the game decided to put more in okay that's probably a shortcut later Oh, why did you roll away? You had him perfectly in the corner. Flip the camera off and uninstall, but the game was already uh, was still already bought. In a month or two, the reviews will switch to mixed, mostly positive. Oh, he was playing on. He was playing on the Xbox version on PC, so he probably got it on Game Pass. Actually have no idea what the timing for that is. does this thing do? Time and time again for years, people have been buying unoptimized slash incomplete games, yet games still bitch. It's not going to change. Companies still going to release garbage day one. People bitch. Developers patch the issues. Gamers happy. I mostly agree with that, except the gamers happy part. Gamers are never happy. They're never satisfied. Nothing is ever good enough.
Does the entertainer's clothes give me a set bonus? It does not. They're pretty toxic. Yeah, they are. Then who isn't these days? Yeah, 38 months on my B day nights. Ram, hello. I was hoping that you were gonna show up today because I did remember that it is your birthday today. So happy birthday, Ram. How are you doing? Thank you for the 38 months. Has it been that long? 38 months? Just a gun for the kill. Thanks. Oh my god, it was a cicada shell. Seriously. Uh, hoping my dad didn't troll me, he told me I had to open his present on stream and then solve the puzzle. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Like a, like a puzzle box type thing? That sounds awesome. set up here. Uh, I feel like unoptimized and unfinished games are too nebulous. If you go down the rabbit hole far enough, you can probably call every game unfinished because they didn't finish this one quest and it's still on the disc. Hmm. How a game is supposed to know which games are good and which games aren't at launch? Yeah, that's true. There's always going to be people to buy and try the game and make reviews. Gamer reviews are everywhere and not every game is unfinished. Really enough people actually care about looking at reviews and making their decision. He gave me a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. I hope it's not all white. Oh, that would be kind of cool. I've always wanted to try one of those all white jigsaw puzzles. I feel like that would be awesome.
If D4 came out, uh, it was unfinished shit. I wouldn't wish death upon Blizzard like 90% of people. 90% of people don't wish death upon people just because a game is shit. That's, that's a bit, going a bit too far the other way, I think. It's definitely not that bad. <laughs> Gamers are just entitled and think they're owed everything. I do agree with that. I mean, to be fair, the, you say here, mostly boils down to, ooh, Diablo 4 trailer looked cool, I'm buying that shit, and that's that. That's why, uh, that's basically my approach. If something looks cool, I'll play it. I just, uh, that that's why I don't really complain very much. Like, I know it seems like I'm frustrated or whatever by the crashes, but I'm not, like, over here complaining about the game and saying, oh, the game's shit. I'm not leaving 20 negative reviews on the Steam page because of it or whatever. I also used to collect jigsaws when I was a kid. Uh, I definitely agree with this, although I do think it's fair that people expect the product they purchase to be playable. That said, playable means different things. I'd agree. People think anything not 60 FPS is unplayable, and I'm personally fine with 30. I'm fine with that too. People are definitely not, hey, why long has some issues, but it's fun. I mean, I'm like that. They're literally complaining in walls of text. Yeah, but they're complaining about all sorts of things. Like, I've seen people complain about every, anything from it's not as good as Neo to the keyboard and mouse controls are awful to uh, my frame rate dips to 59 uh, footpus every now and again. There's lots of complaints that people make, and yes, while most of them are valid, I think people expect too much. 
What? How was that not a headshot? Literally hit him in the head. I also think we have to acknowledge that social media is very much a minority for these issues. There are plenty of reasonable people who just trudge through the problems or still have fun despite them. I'm one of those people. Exactly. We're watching one such person. Yeah. Who wants to sit there and read IGN's drivel about a given game? Just tell me if it's good or not. Not that there's too much water. Oh, here we go. It was to me the reviews have been losing power for a long time. 20 years ago, they were the only way to get information about a game. That's true. How can I play my game if it's not 8K 60 footers? I paid 5,000 for my RTX 70,000. It's not what the reviews say. That's not complaining. Complaining is it's unoptimized for keyboard and mouse. Developers need to get their shit together. Blah, blah. Do not buy this game. Seriously, blah, blah. I spent $59.99. Blah. I want my money back. Saying I'm optimized for keyboard and mouse. Don't buy it yet is way different. Yeah, see, that's that's like a... That's a thing. Right? Like, unoptimized for keyboard and mouse. Oh. Okay. I thought that was a different looking... Monkey when thing. will the day arrive that we can put down our swords at last? Okay, I seriously need to find a big flag. Oh, there's a big flag. We have to kill the monkey to get to the big flag. Question is, can we get around? Yes. Yes, we can. I'm just not a fan of whiners and complainers. Me either. I'm I'm with you on that for sure. I I would never I would much rather hear an explanation of why people think somebody else shouldn't buy a game. Like, at the end of the day, it's always going to be opinion-based, right? Or it's, it's going to be very subjective. Because, like, if I hear, oh, this game is unoptimized for keyboard and mouse, then what I'm actually hearing is, oh, I'll play this with a controller. I mean, I would have any, but it's like, I, I still, I mean, I, I'm one of those weird people that like, I, I still don't understand how people play Souls-like games with keyboard and mouse anyway, or just games like this in general. I feel like a game like this would be way harder on keyboard and mouse. 
especially for me. Like, it's... It, I, I feel like a game like this would be so much harder on keyboard and mouse that it's the kind of thing that I would do a challenge for, right? I would literally do a thing like, oh, if I get to this many subs or if, uh, you know, like how I keep making the joke with Harvey about, <coughs> um, about how I'll only play Subnautica if I get 50,000 bits. It's a bit like that. Like, I, I would, like, 50,000 bits and I'll play a Dark Souls game with keyboard and mouse. That's how difficult I think it is. Like, I know how some people do, like, other challenges. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Like, ask me to play this game on keyboard and mouse. No chance. So even the keyboard and mouse thing I find ridiculous, but that's just me. Just filter out everything that doesn't pertain to me. I can put up a lot of things I feel it's necessary to go around right here. I also played Dark Souls 1. Oh yeah. Cyberpunk 2077 is my shining example of overblown from my personal experience on PC. Previous console generation players, I can understand. Yeah, but that's because the game wasn't made for the previous console generation. It was made for current gen. So of course it's not going to be optimized correctly for last gen. It wasn't made with last gen in mind. Is there another one hiding anywhere, or is it just this one? Looks like it's just this one. Oh, never mind. There's one up there as well. Donk. Can I actually get up there? I must be able to get up there, right? I never even write reviews, I just don't care enough to do that. Me either. Yeah, I think the only time I've ever written a review was during a Steam summer sale of some sort while I was trying to get a uh, Steam badge. Which was like, oh hey, write a review for a game that you've played more than 10 hours of or something. So I was like, okay. And that's it. I think that's the only time. I've written a review. Yeah, it is actually possible to get over there. I just don't know how. But yeah, going back to the the whole cyberpunk thing, like I always I always talk about how I feel like I played a different version of cyberpunk. Like I played I played a different game. Because I didn't have any issues with it. And I know people did, but... Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Other people's issues aren't going to change my opinion on the game. I had a relatively uh, bug-free experience with the game. So, I'm not going to write a review based on other people's experience with the game. I'm gonna I, If I'm going to write a review, I'm going to write a review based on my own experience of it. Also, I guarantee you, I'm not going to say a majority, because a majority is a little bit unfair. 
but I guarantee you a lot of reviews are written by people that haven't even played the game. Got your f a blue screen on the first launch of the game after saying yes to do you want to send us data to help us improve the game the only issues i had weren't like hardware based like one of the issues that i had was i pressed two menu buttons at the same time and it tried to open up that menu and the map at the same time um and it kind of froze my game. Well, not so much froze my game, but it, like... Ah, I mean... Like, the game was still running. I just couldn't do anything with it. Um... So, yeah, I had to... Turn it off there. And then the only other issue I had was occasionally I would T-pose naked out of the roof of my car. Other than that, the game was great. You played No Man's Sky a year ago and that game fucking sucks. <laughs> that's a little bit harsh. See, that's another thing, right? That's another thing that I don't like. And is another reason why I typically don't tell people whether I think a game is good or not. Because a majority of the time, just because I don't like something, doesn't mean it's not good. An example that I give of this is usually Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 could probably be considered a good game. Hell, oh, I might even consider it a good game. I really do not like that game. I... I would go so far as to say I might even hate that game. But I still think it's a good game and I think a vast majority of people would enjoy it. I just didn't. <laughs> Your opinion is objective, is it? day game reviews were in-game magazines and you bought a game and it sucked and you just had a bad game. <laughs> That's true. That's where I think there's a divide in video game consumers. I think people think they're being objective when in fact they are basing their statements off of subjective issues. Hmm. Second one looks too cinematic. Okay. I mean, objective criticism can be fine if the objective criticism is based on something that should be... Controllable, I think. So, for example, an objective criticism of this game would be something like 
it's poorly optimized for PC and it crashes a lot. You know, you could give you could give that as a as an objective criticism, right? Because the game does appear to be poorly optimized for PC and it does crash a lot. Like, is that going to be the case for all people? No. Like, I didn't encounter most of the issues that people had with Cyberpunk. Does that mean that I can't acknowledge the issues that that game did have? No, I mean, obviously I'm going to be able to acknowledge that. An objectively bad game would be like Bubsy 3D or some shit. Like, even I could say that my favorite game of all time, Deadly Premonition, even I can say that is objectively a bad game. But I fucking love it. You know? Oh, what the hell? That is a big old statue. Luckily, it didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> oh no, we've got our work cut out for us here. Oh no. Director named Neil Breen that makes objectively bad movies, but I like them. Yeah, see, that's fine. I remember the one time I was in a WoW stream, a guy in chat was popping off about how FF14 is objectively better and critically acclaimed. The streamer didn't care and eventually banned him. Yeah, see, again. Another... Another opinion given as an objective, uh... Objective fact. Like, there can be things that you like about World of Warcraft. And there can be things that you like about Final Fantasy XIV. But I personally wouldn't say that one is objectively better. And I think to say that one of them is objectively better than the other is just dumb. But again, that's just... Just personal. Ah. Bonk. I like things about both of those MMOs and play neither of them. 
I would agree that when it comes to the technical side of a game such as performance you can be objective about that however as much as it pains me to say the technical side of a game isn't really the game. Sure, yeah that makes sense. You like the outfits and the combat? Yeah, see? Like I said, Final Fantasy XIV does a lot of stuff right. And Final Fantasy XIV as an MMO actually addresses one of the major issues that I have with playing MMOs in general. Which is that I get bored of the class I'm playing quite quickly. And that is remedied in Final Fantasy XIV by the fact that you can play every class on one character. Like, that's, that's like a major, major selling point for me, personally. guy with the axe not wondering what the archer was shooting at. One idiot. I stopped playing Final Fantasy XIV when I finished Stormblood. Lots of people were in my face about how the story was so amazing. A Realm Reborn was awful. Heaven's Water is good, and Stormblood was better than A Realm Reborn. But still, yeah, yeah. I seem to remember being in much the same situation where. A lot of people were just like, oh, the story's amazing, the characters are amazing. And I was just kind of playing the game and thinking to myself, okay, when is the story going to get amazing? When are the characters going to be amazing? There's, there's like maybe three good characters. And the story is... it's fine. It's about what I would expect from a Final Fantasy game, honestly. I can't... can't really say anything better about it than that, to be honest. Um 
Okay, I do have a bit of an issue. I'm missing a big flag. And we're about to fight the boss. Uh, that's not good. Can I open this? If I didn't pay $15 a month to experience the story, I would likely not complain about it to the degree I have, but beyond all that, it sure was funny to have those same people come back to me and say, oh, it gets better. I know A Realm Reborn sucks, but it gets better. See, I thought A Realm Reborn was fine. I don't know why people complain about it so much. You gotta remember, A Realm Reborn was like setting up the story, right? Introducing characters, building lore, that kind of stuff. And it wasn't even the, the first expansion's worth of content, right? It was like... It was the whole game for a long time. So of course it's going to be long and drawn out because that's all the game was for a while. So I really don't understand people that, uh, that complain about, oh, A Realm Reborn is too long. It... Yada, yada, yada. Like, yeah, of course, because that's all it was. Activate that flag? I did activate that flag. Did I go down here? Is this a thing? Oh yeah, this is where I came from. And then this is the shortcut that leads back to the beginning of the game. This is where the crocodile was. You know what? You have the same approach to Final Fantasy XIV as I had to watching TV shows. Like, I generally give TV shows, like, three episodes to be like, okay, I'm going to watch the rest of this show. Uh, I stopped watching Breaking Bad after three episodes. Uh, I stopped watching the uh, American Office. Even though with the American Office, I had so many people telling me how good it was that I actually gave that show six episodes to be good. And it never got there for me. And they were like, well, were you watching the first season? I was like, yeah, like, who the fuck doesn't start with the first season of a show? And then they were like, oh, well, that's where you went wrong. Yeah, you, 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 the first season isn't very good, but it gets better. And I'm just like, no, fuck you. Actually, fuck you. Okay, annoyingly, the only thing I can think is that the final flag is in the boss room. And it's one that you have to activate after you've beaten the boss. Because that has happened a couple of times. Because I am not finding this flag at all. Okay. <laughs> 
Sometimes I forget how sweaty MMO players are, so whenever it's like this is long and taking forever, someone else is max level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how I'm supposed to get on here. Okay. Okay, there's a little flag, so that's fine. We got another big flag over here. Yeah, it's probably in the boss room. Have a little flag in there. We got all the little flags, which is the most annoying part. And we got another big flag over here. So one, two, three, four. And we go into the underground section. There's a little flag up there. And this is where we come out into the city. And there's a big flag there. And then we got the boss room there, which means there's not going to be... There's a little flag over there. There's a little flag over there. Let's hope it's in the boss room, I guess. Actually, is this even the boss room? It's not even the boss room. It's, it's just a room. This, this isn't even a boss room. It's just a room. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> I see that side of the coin, but as a new player to the game at the time, that was my first experience with the game. A long drawn out story filled with nonsense and shenanigans and poor storytelling. 60 hours later, but that doesn't make me want to keep playing. Uh, yeah, but again, right, I know... I know this is going to sound bad, but you have to remember, again, that the content that you're talking about that's long and drawn out and 60 hours long or whatever, for a lot of people, if you're coming into the game late, for a lot of people that's all they had for a long time. So they had to make the content worth it. Because that's, that's all there was. I haven't even mentioned the gameplay. I played a Dragoon and had something like two buttons to press for the first 40 levels. Okay, now that I've heard as well. I've heard that there's very much a case of Dragoon doesn't get good until 70. <laughs> In which case... I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> See, I got lucky, right? I got lucky that I started playing Monk, and Monk is very fun. It's even more fun now, but it was fun back when I started playing as well, because I like fist weapons. I don't know why, I just do. Sword, do not make a joke about how I like fisting. Shut up. Um, so I went from Monk because I always knew that I was going to play a Samurai. So as soon as I got to 40, 
I was able to unlock Samurai. So I unlocked Samurai and I played Samurai. And then I played Samurai for like a month, I want to say. Um, and then randomly while I was waiting for somebody to come online so that we could do the weekly um, main story quest roulette, like the reset had just happened and I was waiting for somebody to come online so that we could run dailies. Um, I was just in one of the capitals, Limsa, and I was just like, eh, while I'm here, I might as well go unlock Dancer. So I unlocked Dancer and then I took that Dancer character class into the MSQ, the, the dailies, and I, I instantly fell in love with the class and had the most fun playing that game, playing as a dancer. No other class even comes close to being as fun as dancer for me. That one gives 10,000? Oh. I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, actually, that might be enough for two levels. I don't think it's going to be, but it might be. Ah, it was. Nice. What's dancer gameplay like? Uh, have you ever played a game called Kingdoms of Amalur? Dancer is... Okay, basically the answer to that question is yes. The answer is a DPS, but it also functions as a support class. Oh my god, talking about it, I just want to... Oh, it's going to get me back into 14. So what you can do with Dancer is you can set up a character as... A dance partner so you can select one person in your group as a dance partner and then every buff that you get will then also be applied to your dance partner for what purpose do you wait for your life so you basically set it on another dps and then you can buff yourself You motherfucker. Don't compare FF14 Dancer to the Chakra and Weapon gameplay now. I mean, why not? Why not? I might as well. I tried Samurai, didn't wrap my head around the gameplay storm. That was so confusing. Yeah. Yeah, the other thing that's weird about uh, Dancer is that it's a ranged class. I mean, I guess that's not totally weird. But the thing I liked about Dancer over Samurai is that... Um...
samurai, even with even with its AOE skills, still needed to have an enemy targeted. Whereas the AOE skills of Dancer don't require you to target. I like that. That's one of those really weird things that only I would appreciate because I'm bad at keyboard and mouse. And I was using tab targeting. Getting close. There we go. Very well. They will not fall for my life. Kill me. I'm trying to kill you. The game won't let me. soul is mine. I've roamed this land with Bishia, honing my blade in search of what makes a warrior. Now, I think I have finally come upon an answer. We may lose our lives in battle, but we shall never lose Which one's Bishia? A warrior is that the tiger? fights for something that they can't bear to lose. I looked up to General Liu. He was a true warrior among warriors. If my life were to end today, I'd leave no regrets. Except maybe wishing that I had known another warrior of such high caliber was in our midst. the lion thing. Stand in my way, if not for a good I'm reason. to the whole objective in game reviews and stuff. I wish more game reviews out there acknowledged their biases Killing and preferences. I've always felt like How that would you? strengthen their reviews. Surrender and serve the yeah. Imperial court. Because, like, mainstream reviews these days are biased 
then I will pledge allegiance with no objection. Not in the sense that uh, they like a particular thing a lot. They basically just don't want to piss off the game developer so that they never get a review code. Because it's all about those clicks. I am a man of honor, so I can't tell you everything now. But yeah, when it comes to reviews, I'm actually... Um... Yeah, I'm a big fan of Skill Up, actually. Uh, I think the first review of his I watched was the Callisto Protocol. And then I watched the one for Atomic Heart. Uh, somewhat annoyingly, watching his reviews actually put me off of both of those games, which is why I haven't played either of them. <laughs> but other than that, his reviews are actually really good. Very in-depth. It would appear, Minister Chow that you have many talented men serving you. However, why does Li Bu not use the elixir? Yeah, I like it. Huh? What? What? The sound? At last. I don't want to fight Lubu again. Why you like this game? The demonic chi here is even denser than it was at Puyang and Xiaopei. Could this be the sign of something bad on the way? <laughs> we must defeat Lubu here and stop the chaos. Although we cannot avoid hurting some innocent citizens, I decided to go ahead with our plan to devastate the city by flooding it. The stalemate here has given demons the opportunity to invade the city. This means Lubu may have no choice but to turn to his prized elixir. <laughs> well, we'll be relying... This, this mission is literally just called Lubu, the mightiest among men. <laughs> what is even happening in this game? I don't fucking know. Team Ninja like to do this thing with their Souls-like games. Neo suffers from this as well, where they don't actually explain everything that's happening and like timelines are all jumbled up and all over the place and I don't even know. It is not for nothing that I have survived through these times of turmoil. Let me show you why. <laughs> Oh, this guy has the upgraded dragon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Glorious victory. At least there's no time travel. Not yet. It's been a while. So it's Kingdom Hearts? No. That was an excellent duel. Thank you. No. She. Wait, did I not have this one before? Oh, I did. Aspiration of a st restoring the Han Empire. Ice attack power goes up. Pair swords of aspiration. Do I have pair swords of... Oh, I do. Endless flowering. That's kind of cool. And peach blossom is a big stab. How do I lock something? I can't. I could use some more sleep. Maybe I'm overworking. Oh, I can in the sell menu. Okay. Now I want to sell this four star here. That's pretty much it. Pretty much the only thing worth keeping. Uh, amplification upon or on enemy upon deflect. Hey, the milkman. Hello. How you doing? Thank you for the six month resub. Appreciate it. Legend of the Thunder God. Oh, actually, let's see if we got the upgraded Geelong. We did not. That's a thing. All right, Legend of the Thunder God. After Kingdom Hearts 3, I feel like it's a good place for me to be done with the franchise. You think so? Gameplay wise, I actually really liked Kingdom Hearts 3. Is this a safe enough place to say that I love Kingdom Hearts? Of course. I fucking love Kingdom Hearts too. What the hell is that? Have I had a fight against one of these before? I don't think I have. Wait, 
Wait, was that it? It didn't hit me once. See, overall, I think the story of Kingdom Hearts is fine. I just didn't like how Kingdom Hearts 3 ended on another Sora cliffhanger, right? Because, and I, I, it's my own fault. So I went into the game being told that Kingdom Hearts 3 was the end of Sora's story, right? Like, that, that's what I was led to believe, that Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to be end, the end of Sora's story, they were going to wrap it all up and be done with it. Turns out, Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't the end of Sora's story. Kingdom Hearts 3 is the end of Xehanort's story. And that's the thing that really annoyed me, because I kind of went into the game with a certain expectation, uh, expectation and that expectation being it's going to wrap everything up which it didn't um so that's that's the only reason i was annoyed by something you wanna other than that i think it's fine uh i am going to go for a bow Four star bow. That's exactly what I wanted. I trust you'll be back. So I have four star of that. I want Something. four star chest armor. Armor of rampancy. Um, staunchness. I there. trust you be back. I played a hundred games in Pokemon Unite, and I came across the first toxic player. somebody being toxic in a Pokemon game. And in a MOBA as well. Wow. Crazy. Say it ain't so. I could use some more sleep. Maybe I'm overworking. Two ninety-eight, three thirty-three. Okay, that's fine. So these armor sets I can upgrade. I had seventy k. Be able to get those to seven. I was under the impression that they would answer most of the pressing questions introduced in earlier games. Instead, they just posed more questions. It's so frustrating. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, it's fine. It was my own fault for going into the game thinking that it was going to wrap things up. Um, they never said. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's why. I'm pretty sure it's because the developers said this is going to be the end of Sora's story. Maybe it was a bad translation or something? I don't know. All I remember is I went in expecting something and then I got something else. Um, you know what? Let's get two people that are I've been meaning to go back to Kingdom Hearts 3.
Sky thinks that Kingdom Hearts 3 was too easy for me. So she set me a challenge. And I don't think it's doable. I can't even remember what most of the challenge is. I think part of the challenge was uh, no theme park rides. I can only use one summon per world. Um, I have to use the default uh, Keyblade. I can't upgrade the Keyblade. I can't upgrade uh, anybody else's weapons. Uh, I think one of them was no cooking, something like that. Uh, yeah, I, like, I honestly don't think it's too <laughs> possible to play the game like that. I know I might be in a minority here, but I really dislike that basically spent the whole game recapping the Kingdom Hearts story. I'll tell you what I disliked about Kingdom Hearts 3 more than anything else. Was... The lack of anything other than Disney. Like, I'm not even specifically talking about the lack of Final Fantasy in the game. Which there definitely should have been some of. I'm talking... Alright. Let me, let me give you my pitch for Kingdom Hearts 3 and tell me if this would have improved the game for you any. Right. All of the flying around in space gummy ship stuff which i thought was really cool what if they replaced that with now hear me out i know sword's gonna get angry for some reason but what if they replaced the space gummy ship stuff and made it star wars themed right right and the Big Hero 6 planet that you go to, where you play through the Big Hero 6 missions and, like, do that whole world. Marvel. Announcement! You know? You know? Come on. Tell me that wouldn't have been cool. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to say expert gamer, but that says expert gamma. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Why would you of all people hate that? Because you seem to hate every suggestion that I have. You seem to think that everything I say is some sort of hot take that should be burned. Yeah, replace the Big Hero 6 planet with Marvel. Replace or make the space gummy ship stuff Star Wars theme. Easy. Bring in some Final Fantasy characters. And... You know, just have a little bit of variety. You make Squall do it? <laughs> Wait, are you sure you don't mean Leon? Ah, <laughs> oh, Kingdom Hearts jokes, let's go. Oh, 
this guy come from? Okay, so this is a shortcut back to the beginning. Doesn't really cut out that much, to be honest. At least seems worth it to make that a shortcut. He's not even here to defend himself. Oh, I wasn't saying anything bad. I was just making a Kingdom Hearts joke about how they don't call him Squat, they call him Leon. That's... I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No need to defend himself from not talking shit. Personally, I'd rather there be no gummy ship sections. I think the gummy ship is fine. What's wrong with the gummy ship? Why does everybody hate the gummy ship? It's just something nice to do to break up the uh, completely destroyed. flow of the game a little bit. I don't know. Oh, that's new. They put the stronger enemy behind the thing. Yeah. I don't hate it. I just don't think it needs to exist as a requirement. Make it an optional mini. I mean, for... For all of the Kingdom Hearts that, uh, games that I can think of, don't they do that? Like, you have to do it once, which I think is fine. And then... Every time after that, you can just quick travel, right? Like, doing it once isn't that bad. Minigame fucking disgusting. Nah. Nah, don't don't be like this. Oh shit. I was meant to buy more bow stuff. I'm annoyed that I forgot to be honest. Looks like you're in danger. Take over. 
Yeah, I am in danger. Yeah. Ah, revenge complete. Toxic player game, we lost QRP he's on the opposite team, I beat him. Take your two losses, bitch. Now he's being toxic. Pikmin Unite has a singular thing that has been the most memorable and it's the announcer saying, you win. The main boss in this area kicked your ass for three hours. Three hours! Damn. kind of hoping it's not Lubu, to be honest, because uh, chances are, if it is, he'll probably kick my ass for three hours as well. The first Lubu fight is probably the hardest boss in the game so far. Everything else has been relatively easy. In fact, I would say that I've died more to normal enemies than I have to bosses. Most of the bosses in this game I've one-shot. Ooh, a big flag. Alright, we'll come back for you. What? Who hit me? Was it this guy that definitely shouldn't have hit me? Oh, you fucking idiots. If you can't jump across platforms, don't try. Come on. Weird. I was definitely on that guy's head. Did he fall in the water just now? Oh, come on. Get it together. The flow isn't as strong as before. It will be cold getting be fatal, so watch your feet. Okay, so this is This is where I started and I went across there. I didn't go this way, so we can go and see what's over here. Kinda hoping for a little flag, but it doesn't look like there's a little flag over here. I'm not gonna lie, it's cringy to me when people go hard in Pokemon Unite. 
Yeah, I mean, people play to win. Like, what do you expect? What's the point in playing if you're not trying to win? Having fun? What's that? You know what's fun? Winning. The longest I spent on a boss fight was Minerva on hard in Crisis Core. Eight hours. Damn. The longest I've ever spent on a boss fight was the final boss of Ark Rise Fantasia. It took something like five hours across multiple attempts. Uh, the boss that took me the longest was either uh, Melania in Elden Ring or Genichiro, uh, not Genichiro, Ishin. Ishin in uh, Sekiro. It's, it's one of those two, for sure. They were both about seven-ish hours. Seven, seven or eight hours, something like that. Star Assassin races. Let's go. I think Ishin took me four hours and I got lucky on my last attempt. I didn't so much get lucky in my attempt, rather that I just had done it for so long. But I ended up just, like, not so much button mashing through it, but, oh my god. Yeah, I had just done the fight for so long at that point that it just clicked, finally. Actually, I'll tell you what the real fine, uh, the real boss that took me the longest was. Deadly Premonition 2. Bowling puzzles. Oh, yeah. The true final boss. Yeah, see? Sword moves. Knew you were gonna... Knew somebody would probably mention uh, Deadly Premonition. I wasn't looking at chat at the time. Activate this now. I don't think I want to activate this just now. Though I don't really have anywhere else to go. Except to fight that guy, I guess. Get up there. And then I guess I have to go around that way. I 
bit of help there, buddy. Oh, shit. I was trying not to aggro that guy. So that's the way I went across there. The thing is, there is also a way across there, which we'll check out after the seconds. I also need to remember that RB and up and down uh, make my characters do cool stuff, which I've never actually used. I don't think I've ever used that button combination in this game. So far, besides this area boss, the boss that took me the longest in this game was the first boss because it took me a while to get down the second phase timing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I got you. I think I died to that guy once again because... Like you, I didn't have the, uh, didn't really have the timing down yet. But then it just sort of clicked for me. Alright, so I see a, I see a little flag over there. I want to become strong like you and my brother. But that's definitely, that's definitely water, right? It's definitely not ice. I definitely can't get over there. So I think at some point in this level, we're going to lower the water level and then we can get over there. Possibly. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, okay. So this is just a shortcut back to here. Which is the way I've already been. Alright, cool. Did you fucking fall in again? So took me completely by surprise. One thing that I'm not when something troubled him. Oh, there's another little flag down there. Now from when he was a child. Another thing that kind of annoys me a little bit about this game that I don't know why they wouldn't include is um, dodge cancelling. Why is dodge cancelling not a thing in this game? But that's not the Lubu I knew. I need to find out what happened, what changed him. It seems like every attack that you make you're just like super committed to it. And that sort of like goes against this game's philosophy of um, 
like being aggressive. Like how aggressive can I be if? It's unavoidable that Cao Cao's forces will try to kill him. But if I can get him to stand down, then will you lend me your aid? If you're just gonna do that. I was kind of hoping he would fall through. There. Finally remembered. With you here, I guess there's nothing to worry about. Finally remembered that that guy does two. Okay, we can climb down there. All right, what are we gonna give you today? Today we are going to give you a dragon cure powder here you go have a dragon cure powder are you trying to get her to gamble all Okay, this is the way to go. I'm pretty sure. So there was another bit that I saw. That was out here. I didn't go. I probably can't go across there. This will probably kill me if I try to jump to that roof. So, wait, is there another? There's a there's a big flag down. There. Yeah, it looks like we do have to drain the water or something. Did slot six thousand the other day and you were let down. Yeah, that will happen a lot. Don't let sword fool you. That will happen a lot. This stream is just one big disappointment after another. Don't worry about it. To drink. Let's go. People have lived here until just recently. I know. Just empty houses, roads. The flooding tactics really were devastating. How the fuck did a spider survive down here? This place was flooded. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, why are there so many of them? Get the fuck out of my game and out of my life. That one was on the fucking ceiling. Get the fuck out. They're water spiders? Nah, shut up, that's not a thing. Hello. 
How are you doing? Donk. Is this the only way I can go? This might actually be... Yeah, it seems to be the only way I can go. Yeah, it might just be a straight shot to where I need to go now. Okay, I know where at least one other small flag is. I know where one big flag is. Oh, there's the big flag. Um, You know what? I might try and jump off. Where's that ladder? There it is. Yeah, here we go. So there's still sections of this map that are underwater. So we need to avoid those. Something not quite right about this room. Actually, not mad. Oh, see? You didn't believe hard enough. That's the problem. If you had believed harder, you would have won. That's how it works. You see, gamblers do it all the time. See, now here's the problem. You believed in me instead of believing in yourself. Shame that. Shame. Okay, this is this is too easy. Why is that guy just there? Something's coming out of Where is it? No, seriously? This guy's... Oops. Nearly fucked that up. Sometimes life just stabs you in the back, what can I say? <laughs> I don't know if uh, Sword has ever told you about his other Twitch account uh, called Life Out. Dragon. Oh, 
I don't know if this thing is technically a dragon. Fucking dead now, whatever it was. Donk. Okay, if I jump over there, I don't think I have any way back. So that's probably not a thing. So we want to go up, which puts me back over here. Where am I going? I'm going over there, right? All right, so we've got another, another big flag. Still need to find two small flags. Hmm. They're trying to get over here. Wait, actually, how do I get back? Wait, am I not supposed to be over here? Oh no, I can get it. Okay, so we've done the big flag. Kinda hoping there'd be a little flag over there, but I guess not. The area's heavily guarded. That probably means my brother is close. Little flags, please. Where's all the little flags? Avenged Halls. Good. Good, good. Okay, so it wants me to go in there, by the way. But I don't think I want to. Okay, we can't go that way. Uh, so I guess we'll continue going. Sniped out of the air. Did you see that? How did you get up there? Oh. Ah. That'll drop me over to that side. Still looking for little flags. Flag, oh little flag. It's kind of annoying because, like, the um. The white light from the flags are a little bit hard to see against the snow.
Although then so are the items, but it seems to be getting those pretty easy. Parrying was not a thing in the OG. Uh, actually, that's not entirely true. Parrying sort of was a thing. So with the knife, you could deflect crossbow bolts and axes that were thrown at you. But it was literally just a hold the attack button and swing when it came near you kind of thing. It wasn't actually like a like a dedicated parry system. Oh no, because you couldn't um, you couldn't parry melee hits. You could only parry crossbow bolts and, like, thrown axes, specifically. You couldn't parry an enemy that was coming towards you with an axe in his hand. The fact that there's no little flags around here is really worrying me. Oh wait, no, there's one right here. Looking for a marking flag, yes. Well, there's the last big flag. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's down here somewhere. Come on, be at the end of this hallway. No. to go back. I don't know where this other flag is. I don't want to have to redo this level. Give me the flag. It's probably somewhere obvious. And I just missed it because I'm fucking blind. Like that one over there, I nearly missed that one.
Okay, it's not over there. It's not over there. Although it might just not be showing up because I'm too far away. It might actually be on those platforms. Is that actually a thing? I haven't seen a single piece of equipment that has that on it. Are you sure that's a thing? I mean, the only part of the game, so maybe they stop giving the equipment like that when you're in a late game. Is it on armor or accessories? I can't imagine it's something that's on a weapon. seen it twice on armor so then it might actually be the case that if i was i i might have it as an embed right so i can just embed it onto another other piece of arm hang on let me see if i can look it up i think this mission is called lubu mightiest of men <laughs> Mightiest Among Men is what it's called, which is hilarious to me. Okay, I remember where the ones that I already got are. So, Battle Flag 1, that's easy. Marking Flag, yes, it was in a war. We already have all of the Battle Flags, so I don't need to worry about that. Battle Flag 3... Battle flag four. Marking flag two is out there. Near where you turn off the water, you turn off the water. Oh, it's the one that's inside the pagoda. Okay. And then we've got our battle flag five, that's fine. This one is the one Oh, where is that? I think I missed that one. Okay, yeah, I, f I found the one that I'm missing. We go down there, that's where you fight the two water enemies. That's where you go into the house. Did you go out and to the right? Okay. All right, I think I got it. If you salvage... Yeah, I've basically salvaged all of my equipment that I don't use. I, I've never... I've never sold a piece of equipment. I, I've basically salvaged all of it. Uh, 
All right, apparently the boss on this level might take me three hours. So that should be fun. Okay, apparently it's over here. Three hours with reinforcements? Not sure. To be fair, only one of these people is supposed to be in the level with me. I'm only supposed to have Hongjing. I, I summoned the other guy. Even with reinforcements. If it's who I think it is, it's probably not going to matter. I mean, the level is called Lubu Mightiest Among Men, so that sort of says to me, oh, you're probably going to fight Lubu. But it could just as easily be not Lubu. Where the fuck am I right now? Oh, shit. If you first try him, I'm out. And I mean out, not out. Slice and diced. So there's the door. Uh, do I have to go back in? Try going this way. No. Yeah, it looks like I have to go back into the uh, Goda thing. Let's go back to where I was going. Okay, don't want to go that way. I'm just going to play it safe. Also, I doubt I'm going to first try this boss. I, I'm... I mean, I might. But I doubt it. But I might. Wait, actually, did I just... Ah, oh, I just... So stupid. I was already at the bottom. I just had to go this way. I thought I had to climb the tower for some reason. Oh, 
Oh, I could just have gone down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really know my way around too well. Manage the first try most of the bosses except for this large hairy thing in the first level you play. Okay. Oh, the thing with the tentacles. He's talking about that thing. That thing's a pain in the ass. I've managed to one-shot most things. I think the only thing for the most part that I haven't been able to one-shot. Uh, not, not even one-shot. The, the only boss that's really given me any issues was Lubu. But even then, I think I beat him in less than 10 attempts, I would say. I could be wrong. And my game's gonna crash. Oh no, we're good. You stand against impossible hardship. So then why? Why not use the elixir? I... I was waiting. Oh yeah, I mean the lightning dragon is also a prick. For this moment. <laughs> the blight of the elixir. It all ends here. And now. What? Why would you do this? Oh, 
see a sword. <laughs> I knew immediately that I had to destroy Yuji after finding out this chaos was his doing. A Taoist spreading a vile elixir and controlling demons has no right to tread this land. I could not allow yep. the people Sword of my out. village, who made me who I am, or my Sword one and out. only flesh and blood, to get caught up in this madness. Easy. That is why I left my village and pledged a false allegiance to Dong Zhuo to infiltrate their forces. I hoped to track Yu Ji's actions. I swallowed my pride and did their bidding. I brought the elixir to Mei Wu Fort and was able to prevent it from spreading among the lords. Yet, I was still unable to pin down Yu Ji. So, in my desperation, I risked everything. I stole the elixir. I figured if I sat on it without using it myself, he would eventually show his face. And it worked. But... I came one step short. You bested me. Perhaps you can take Yuji down. The responsibility of bringing an end to the spread of demonic chi is in your hands now. It's all up to you now. Your soul is mine. <coughs> But beware of your shaft too. And keep my sister safe. Brother. Brother. How strong you've become, Hong Jin. <laughs> General Liu was determined to not let you get involved. He fought a long, hard, and lonely fight. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Every other good guy I've had a fight against who turned into a demon. They survived. But very specifically, Lu Bu didn't. Seems not only Shu province, but many of our other cities have fallen to Yuan Shao as well. And I don't know where my brothers are. General Guan, hmm? if you have no objections, how about staying with Minister Cao for the time being? It will not be easy for you to search for General Liu until these enemy forces are defeated. Hmm. I could see General Yuan's star falling. And three new stars have risen up. What might this portend? <laughs> okay. You've been restored with the protect uh, protection of the divine beast Ch Chishi. Have you sworn brothered any of your reinforcements? I don't know how to do that. Is that the thing with the cup?
Wait, wait, I want to join in. Yuan Shao suddenly heads south toward Cao Cao's territory and steals the elixir that Lu Bu had been safeguarding. Yuan Shao now commanded an army of demons, striking fear into the hearts of many and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds. Wait, I don't even know where it is. Where is it? Yet brightly. Royal Blue, thank you for the follow. Army Appreciate it. And went out on an all or nothing attack. So funnily enough, I never write out emotes. I always have to find it in the emote list. There we go. You get them to rank 10 and you get their equip. Oh, I don't think I've got anyone to rank 10 yet. I think Hong Jin is the closest. I think she's ranked 9. Forces have taken the Yanjin Fort. <sighs> Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chao. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? Just one. I will need just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. You're tired of wearing ugly armor? Oh, you haven't seen the dancer set yet, have you? So, milady, what did the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Cao Cao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the towers who killed our father. <laughs> Cao Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Shao Aman's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. <laughs> do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! <laughs> Without my sworn brother on my side now. But you I can entrust my life with. Let us depart. Ooh, we're in part six now. Creatures of the Dark Path. That seems like it's just going to be a battle arena. Because there's only one big flag to get there. Ooh, Scarlet Crystal. Hang on, let me let me go to the uh go to that. You know why the cutscenes are weird? Okay, go on then. Is it because they all look really sweaty for some reason? I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, actually, what weapon is that? Sky piercing halberd? Oh, there is actually just a, a weapon set called Lubu, the mightiest among men. Oh, that's kind of cool. Prancing dragon. 
Oh, Dragon Tail Whip. That seems kind of cool as well. HP enemy. Oh, enemy detection. Hold up. Martial arts spirit cost down. Halberd spirit damage. Martial arts damage. Flying general's bow. Okay. Wait, why does it do... Why does it do less damage? Oh, it's because I'm not invested in fire. Ah, sure. Fuck it. It looks sick. Uh, alright, let me see. Do I have... Oh yeah, I've got some... I've got some entertainers set here. Can I, can I buy entertainment set or is it all yellow turban? Ah, uh, shame. Ah, uh, yeah, the entertainers set basically, it basically looks like this. Looks all right. So this is the Lubu gear. Oh, yep, yeah, that's that's Lubu gear. Oh, it's heavy. Ugh. Ugh, don't know how I feel about that. Welcome. All right, let's see if we can embed a piece of armor. Uh. Let's get rid of this stone resist. Who cares about stone resist? Uh... Oh yeah, marking flag detection. Huh, enemy detection. Is there any other kind of detection? It's probably not, right? Probably don't need it. Huh. Alright. So I don't have any rank 9 steel. But I can upgrade the bow. Now I'm just missing money. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is any others. Alright, let's go give this guy some more golden cicadas. Have you found a weapon that you like other than the staff yet? <laughs> you... Iron Spet. See, I was using the staff for the longest time, and now I'm using this glaive, but I'm also using these double swords. They're super cool. They're also part of the uh, the armor set that I'm wearing. My stomach's growling. Guess I best go out and hunt. Damage bonus, light equip load. Ooh, that might be good. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Oh, I 
I don't have the money for it. Damage bonus, light equipped load B+. Plus. You just woke up and you feel good? Nice. It's going to cost 70,000. I never use this, so let's just sell one of those. What even is this? Get rid of that as well. Seventy thousand. These chivalrous dual swords, the martial arts on them are great. One of them is a hit into a dodge, and the other is a chargeable impale. Yeah, the the swords that I'm using at the moment, one of them is a dodge into a slight uh into a slash like that. Which is kind of cool. And then the other one, it has kind of a, like a long, a long charge up, but it's basically like a double hit. Like that. Okay, so we can do the Scarlet Crystal. This looks like it's an arena fight, so I might try this. Yeah, I, I spend a lot of money on upgrades and stuff, so I, I don't particularly have a lot of money. <laughs> Alright, what are we fighting? This is also an ice weapon, which is pretty nice. And I actually really like the spirit attack on it as well.
Oh shit, I thought he was doing the jump again. Yeah, that one. With a texture that's diagonal. <laughs> Taking down that scoundrel of a warlock. Bringing order back to this chaotic age requires that we discern who is genuinely virtuous and who is a wolf in sheep's clothing. You see that? Leaping into the air, Baizu signals to us that our bonds grow yet closer. Stop giving me the shit ones. Give me the one I want. Upgrade my dragon, goddammit. How much money do I have now? How do I how do I check? Where's, where's my money? Do I have 70,000 yet? <sighs> I could use some more sleep. 64. Maybe I'm overworking. Oh. All right, we'll just sell these. So I wanted to embed this with light load. Where the fuck is it? Is it because it has to replace the ice enchant? Can I not have too many, like, special ones on here? Why is this not working? Why is that not going on there? I mean, I might as well put ice attack power on it then, I guess. That should increase the damage of my ice enchant, right? Or maybe even status effect accumulation, because that means that they'll get frozen quicker. Yeah, getting frozen quicker probably works out to be a bit better there. Yeah, I, I have no idea why that didn't work. Also, for whatever reason, 
So I don't have an upgrade to uh, Beaksy, because that's the one that I just got. I have an upgrade to Shishi. I have an upgrade to Zuke. I have the upgrade to Bais. I have the upgrade to Baihu, and I have the upgrade to Chillin. But I don't have the upgrade to Qinglong yet, which is the one that I want. Uh, yeah, I think it might have been. Ah! I looked at chat and fell off the... <laughs> okay, that time that was my fault. I didn't think I'd spawn on the vine. Facing that way. Welcome. Uh, let me have a look. The embed... Oh, I can't even look at it now. The only reason I'm upgrading the water stat is because these swords scale A off water. <laughs> I don't actually know what it's doing for me, but... What does it even do? It affects how easily enemies can detect you and the amount of spirit consumed when deflecting. Eh, I mean, that's... yeah, that's fine. I also put some points into this because my um, glaive scales off earth. And I put points into this because my staff scaled off uh, wood. Scarlet Crystal. Am I going to have to duel a Hongjing? You just put 20 into water so that you can get Blink? Is, is, that, a, is that a spell? Because I'm not going to lie to you, I don't use martial arts and I don't use magic. And my game just crashed. <laughs> Here now. Yeah, I pretty much based all of my decision making when it came to what stats I put in. Uh, I just focused it purely on the scale the damage scaling of the weapons that I was using. Did my game just crash by oh, fuck me? I didn't even make it to the main menu that time. I've had death counters for games in the past. Maybe it's time for a crash counter. <laughs> Maybe. I'm pretty sure my crash counter would be... hovering around 20 at this point. Because it's I, I'm also counting crashes that happened as soon as I started the game in the morning before I actually turn my stream on.
you're starting to enjoy this, are you? Wow, she's really, she's really going all out. Oh no, I'm slow. Oh, she did the blink. Finishing it with that single strike. Yeah, single you strike. Okay. All your heroic actions up until now. Anyway, let's get back to the village. Thank you, Hannah. Small genuine crystal. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, I thought my game just crashed again then. I got the Jade Green Staff. So this must be Hong Jin's uh, set, right? And that was the bandit one that I got. So we got a cool hat. That doesn't look terrible. What even is the set bonus? Wizardry, spirit consumption, power gain upon wizardry spell. Staff spirit damage. It's actually not bad. Actually pretty good. I got the hat at a plus six, that at a plus five, that at a plus seven. Uh, actually, I didn't get any of the uh, the wrists. Interesting. Shame you can't look at uh, for reinforcements. <sighs> I could use some more sleep. Maybe I'm overworking.
I forgot I could do this. Oh, I actually don't need to decorate the headgear. There we go. Now I'm an entertainer. I wish there was a way to preview it before you actually put it on, because I kind of don't like the pants, but... Alright, there's only a little bit of time left on the stream. Let's try and do some invasions and hope the game doesn't crash. The game crashed... Tw I've tried to do two invasions today and the game crashed twice when I loaded in. So let's see what happens this time. Wait, he's fighting the big guy in the middle, isn't he? Where are you going? Why are you running? I oh, duked me. Oh, uh, what? Uh, what? That guy definitely returned to the title screen. I'm calling it right now. That guy definitely kicked his PC. That guy definitely pulled the Ethernet port, uh, the Ethernet cable out. Hoping the game won't crash seems to be funny. True. Good on him, more should do that? No. No. Listen, if you play if you play these games or if you play games like this, a certain expectation needs to be uh needs to be had. You're gonna get invaded. Oh great. How does this even happen? You pulled the plug every time you were invaded in PS3. getting hit. Oh, 
but nothing has happened. I'd love to see what this looks like on his end. The invaders want me to not pull the plug. Should have made reality differently. <laughs> You've never been invaded in Elden Ring? Yeah, I don't know. Can you just activate the fucking flag so I can get the fuck out of here? I don't know how to leave. You know, I don't think I ever got invaded in Elden Ring. I think in Elden Ring specifically, it's a setting you have to turn on. I could be wrong. You just hurry up and activate the flag. Where is he? He's over there. What the fuck's he doing over there? Oh, are you going with him? All right, I'll see you later. Elden Ring invasions only happen if you summon someone or use an item. Oh, that's right. Oh, you were kidding. Oh, I see. Oh, it, because it turned six o'clock. I see. No, I, I at least want to get a successful invasion. I'm just waiting for this guy to... There we go. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you and your shitty internet. I mean, in fairness, I haven't been invaded once since I started playing this game. I've had some NPC invasions, but not actual players. Can anybody remember the name of the guy that DC'd? Was it Guilty Sport? Where is he? This game should definitely point you in the way, uh, in the general direction of the person you've invaded. Because he could be anywhere. Someone was firing a crossbow somewhere. Oh, he hasn't got that flag yet. My 
My first invasion when I first played Dark Souls was a one-hit kill with me with a sword bigger than my body. You hated it ever since. I never used to like it. And I never did it in any of the, like, older Dark Souls or anything. Um, didn't do it in Elden Ring. Never did it in Bloodborne. I don't know, in some games it can be fun. Other than this one, I can't remember whatever game I did it in. I, I know that there was another one. He's got to be over there somewhere, because that tiger is still alive. And this is the next battle flag that he's due to get, so... He hasn't got the one down there... either. Where is he? Oh, oops. Yeah, because this guy's still alive as well. Is he just back at the start? He's not at the start. He's not fighting people over here. That guy's still alive. Oh, he's been over here because he's got that battle flag. And he knocked down that piece of wood and opened that passage. fuck happened there? He just wasn't there. I wouldn't mind invasions if they were on par with me, but they're always playing a meta or abuse something like lag stabs or phantom dream. Well, invasions are done with a um Typically, like a normalized level, right? You're usually set to the same soul level or whatever it is. Dark Souls is too hard. Hmm. Oh, hey, we're back here. Expert of Sword Joe. And everybody's out here using titles. I don't think I even have a title equipped. Alright, get rid of the ads first. Where did Joe go? Stop locking onto that guy. Deflectathon over here. Did he just deflect both of those? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah! Fair and balanced. Announcement! That was kind of fun. I actually like that one. Nice, uh, nice deflecting and everything. Yeah, that was kind of cool. You don't think that's ever been a thing? Most Souls games try to match you with similar SL. Yeah, exactly. Don't care about SL, though build specifically to kill people in a couple of shots while I'm more optimized for PvE. That's fair. I mean, you can block invasions in Dark Souls 3. I don't think I've ever been invaded. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Uh, F2 Big Blunts. Hello, how's it going? Uh, thank you for the follow and the 15 bits. Appreciate it. Doesn't work when they have some advantage in lag or something. Yeah, but that's not really down to them. Majority of the time. Have I played any AC games? Okay, now when we talk about AC, what are we talking about? Are we talking about Armored Core, Animal Crossing, Assassin's Creed? What are we talking about? Something you wanna ask me? Armored core. Uh, how far in am I? Uh, I'm probably near the end. I'm probably going to end up finishing this tomorrow. Ooh, poison accumulation and burn accumulation. Absolutely hate invasions, think anyone who does invade is human trash, and absolutely don't care about them whatsoever when they don't invade. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Uh, if you're talking about Assassin's Creed, I've played almost all of them, except for Rogue and some of the other, like, spin-off-y ones. I never finished Unity, and I never finished uh, Syndicate. I still haven't finished Valhalla. But yeah, other than that, I've played and finished all of the Assassin's Creeds. Uh, I think there might have been some stuff that I missed in Assassin's Creed 1, uh, but I have played it. Am I ever going to finish it? Or, or you're never going to finish Valhalla? I might. I might. You don't know. Is that what you told Tiger about Riser? Yes. Okay, so I finished every mission in part one to five. I've got all of the flags in all of them. So we've got part six to do. I don't know how much past part six there is. See, apparently this game has taken place over the span of 14, uh, 16 years. And it's like... The game never mentions that outside of you going between the parts and it's saying AD 184 and AD 200. Uh, 
Unless he is a Neo too. Yeah, true. And why he also hit Radiant and Valo. Oh, congrats. Alright, well, we will pick this up again tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. I'm curious about what the uh, the mouse and keyboard controls are like. Oh my god. I'm having to proper, like... All right, so from one length of my keyboard to the other, this is an entire, uh, this is an entire mouse movement from left to right. <laughs> That's the length of my keyboard. Wait, does this use mouse acceleration or something? Ooh, keyboard only. Mouse enabled, mouse sensitivity. That's the length of my keyboard. That time it didn't even move. I'm still moving left and right across my keyboard, by the way. Weird. I don't know. Let's try. Uh, let's try keyboard only, shall we? How does keyboard only work? Okay, I is to move the camera up. K is to move it down. J is to move it left, and L is to move it right. You know what? Actually, you know what? Actually. What's the attack button? Or deflect is F. Block is G. T is counter parry. C is martial art one and V is martial art two. T is spirit attack. Oh no, T is counter parry. Yeah, wait, I knew that already. Hey, what the fuck's the attack button? Wait, H is spirit attack. What the fuck is the attack button? O is also deflect. T is camera mode. What the fuck is the attack button? Yeah, this is keyboard only. <laughs> what? Hang on, what the fuck is the... What the fuck is the attack button? You! Fucking you!
Let's... All right, you know what? No, I need to stop this before I start liking it. No, get me out. Wait, what's the difference between... Oh, it just shows... Where's the online settings? Can you actually? Yeah. See, look, you can in, you can allow invasions or do not allow invasions. See, there you go, Lancet, just for you. That's handy, right? I do actually want to buy some arrows. I only buy 19. That was weird. All right, now I'm really broke. Is there a way for me to check my oath level with people without being in a level? It just needs to not be Sekiro. Go to the flag. Oh, it's not reinforcements because I can't access the reinforcements menu. That's what I meant about not being in a level. Nothing in the title list now. Oh, that's how I set my title. Okay. Spirit Crusher. Where's my toxic title? Master Dragon Healer. Oh, Raging Brute. There we go. Oh, wow. I conquered a battlefield without dying or raising a battle flag once? Oh, I guess that's actually really easy to get. So I've carried out 18 invasions, but it hasn't actually told me how many I succeeded in. So yeah, there's like four more bosses to beat by the looks of it. Or like yeah, main bosses. Actually, two. By the looks of this. Or two, two humans and four demons, by the looks of it. Looks like we have three levels to go. So yeah, it looks like this game will be finished tomorrow. So yeah, there's like a character directory here, but it doesn't say anything about your oath level to these characters. Watch. 
And it looks like we get two more Divine Beasts. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, Frost, welcome back. So no, we got lots of uh got lots of trash pandas hanging out now. Oh, how fair you? It is I. The one you rescued from the dungeon in Luo Young. Oh, you mean the spider infested dungeon, that Honestly, one. I can't thank you enough. With formalities out of the way, just looking at them gives me peace of mind. I can't help but break into a silly grin even as we speak. I have this humble dream to have this vip. When you see them out on your travels, be sure to treat them kindly. They'll follow you back. <laughs> I'll help you up, reverse trash panda. Doesn't let me. I wonder how many of these I'm supposed to get. I'm sure I've missed some somewhere. I wonder if there's a way of keeping track on it, uh, track of it on the map. <laughs> there's seven thousand of them. Uh, if I pick this, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it actually says. It just tells me how many flags there are. That's a shame. I wish there was a way to keep track of what levels you uh, got the pandas in. Also, no, there shouldn't be spiders everywhere. Get spiders out of here. I managed to find some uh, mods for Neo that remove spiders. Or not removes the spiders, but it replaces them with something else. The, uh, the mod for... Okay, so here's the weird thing. All right, Nem. I'll see you later. Uh, here's the weird thing, right? The mod for Neo 2 is supposed to turn them into slimes from Dragon Quest. Um, and it did do that, but it only changed the shape of them. It still has, like, this weird spider texture on it. You'll see what I mean when I play the game. But yeah, it's uh it's it's pretty disgusting, but it's still better than what it was. Cause you can barely tell that that's what it's supposed to be. Right, anyway. I am gonna get out of here. I will be back tomorrow at the usual time and we'll see you guys then uh cookie thank you again for the 28 month resub a whole two years uh no excuses just pudding thank you for the follow honda mad thank you for the follow as well ram thank you for the 38 months and happy birthday again uh milkman thank you for the six months uh, Expert Gamer, thank you for the follow. Royal Blue, uh, F to Big Blunts, thank you guys for the follows as well. And then F to Big Blunts, thank you for the 15 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. I will see you tomorrow bright and early at 10 a.m. UK time. I will see you guys then. Stay safe. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.